going on? <clears throat> it's your boy Mills from Mill City Boxing, home of the High Level Pro Boxing Media, the Fighters Channel, the Trainers Channel, the People's Channel. El Body Green Gill, that is book said. What's going on, people? What's going on? We're doing a live commentary right now for the Amazon Prime opener with Tim Zhu versus Sebastian Fundora. Uh, this is a unification bout. Um, this is for two belts here at the 154 division. We also have on the co main event, uh, Roly Romero, the WBA champion at 140 pounds, versus Pitbull Cruz. Now, uh, after that, well, before that, we're going to be having is, is Landy Lara. Uh, and we have a great fight right now going on with Martinez and Cordova. I mean, we are here coming in in 30 seconds of the 11th round. And I have to say, this is a back and forth. This They have the crowd really going up. Um, this fight right here could kind of, it, it looks like it's stealing the show. Um, nevertheless, I mean, these guys... Uh, the rest of the guys on the card, they definitely got some uh, got some work cut out for them. These little guys out here, I mean. Now, let's get into some of the other fights as well. Salute to everybody that um, taps in on this live. Appreciate each and every single one of y'all. If you guys haven't uh, subscribed to the channel, welcome to the channel. Hopefully, you guys uh, become a member. Um, also, support the channel on another level. Right now. Um, you know, we've had, uh, my man Cormel Moten, he went the distance with an undefeated fighter. Um, he showed that he does have a chin. Um, he has dog in him. Um, sometimes people, we throw that dog word kind of in too quick lately in, uh, in some of these guys' careers because, you know, you got to be in there with a dog to actually say you in a dog fight, right? Um, but salute to Cormel Moen, did a great job, got the, uh, decision, um, needs to clean up on a lot of certain things and, you know, going in your third fight with an undefeated fighter, I mean, he's really, you know, if he hasn't gotten that experience in the amateurs yet, I think what he's a 17, 18 time national champion, I mean, um, he's definitely going to be getting it with, uh, Mayweather promotions the way they're pushing him right now. So salute to Cormel Moen as well. Brian, we have here the 12th round right here. I'll get into some more of that talk later. But uh, Martinez and Cordova um, is the 12th and final round, ladies and gentlemen. Um, Cordova is really uh, pushing the pace. Martinez is, you know, obviously on his front foot. He got a big gash on his uh, left side of his eye, um, swolled up. A lot of these guys uh, today in today's bout, was, guys were so swolled up. You seen, uh, you know, uh, Brian Mendoza. I mean, it, it seemed to me his jaw got to be broken. I mean, it's swolled up like a watermelon, ladies and gentlemen. Um, coming in, Cordina showing that he could box strong combinations. You have Martinez with the high guard and really just trying to land that big shot. <clears throat> Got Cordova throwing the one, two, the one, three, one. These guys, uh, you know, Martinez is not necessarily a boxer, really a brawler. Cordova could definitely box can punch and uh these guys are in a, in a barn burner i gotta say these guys are in a real barn burner make sure you guys getting into the polls as well who do you guys think wins in the co-main event pitbull cruz versus roly romero place your vote as well ladies and gentlemen we have martinez pushing the pace but i'll tell you right now cordova definitely has this 12th round um cordova's face is really swollen you can tell his jaw gotta be broken um, he's boxing his way. He believes he has this, uh, this fight in the bag, even though he's been dropped, uh, several times in the fight. So 
nevertheless, coming into the final seconds of Martinez and Cordova. Cordova's really backpedaling, kind of kind of just moving around, and, you know, Martinez is going for broke. Very excited, has enough. Coming into 14 seconds left, ladies and gentlemen. And Cordova, with his hands up in the air, believes that he has the victory. Uh, we have Martinez go straight to Eddie Reynoso. Beat up. Face is, is, is cut up. Um, both guys' faces are beat up. Um, hell of a performance. I give it up to Cordova and Martinez. You have to give it up to those guys. Uh, just giving us a show, man. Just giving us a show. Uh, Martinez is looking at Eddie Reynoso, looking at him like, you know, he doesn't really got this bag. And holy moly, moly, Cordova is cheek is swollen. He, he, we have a comp competition of swollen cheeks for today, ladies and gentlemen. Brian Mendoza or, Cordo or Cordova, who has the most swollen cheeks of the night? <laughs> and the fights are not over yet. Are you watching the PBC question? Yes, I am. Hamza in the building. Vaya, vaya. What's going on, Hamza in the building? What's going on? Smash the like button, ladies and gentlemen. Smash the like button. We got 35 people up in here. Four likes. Get these likes up. Place your vote as well. Pitbull, Cruz versus <clears throat> Rolly Romero, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, so Cordova and Martinez, they just finished fighting. They're about to, uh, you know, give out the announcements on who got the victory. Um, Cordova definitely got to check out. these. Both of these guys got to go to the hospital, man. These, both of these guys are seriously beat down. Um, Cordova gets uh, dropped early in the fight, you know what I mean, and and keeps his composure, boxes his way out. Um, he believes he gets the victory, but we're going to figure out who really gets this victory, you know. Martinez, uh, uh, Cordova did some sh uh, Sugar Ray Leonard type of shit. Remember when Sugar Ray Leonard used to go... <laughs> Yo, so just waiting on the results on that, but getting into some of the fights over here, Cormel Moulton, listen, man, the kid, they, they're, they're judging the kid already. You know, he's, what, 17 years old. Um, You really, you really can't shun the kid. They, they're going to, he's going after guys that are undefeated. He just has to figure out ways to, you know, break, Break guys down. I mean, he's only doing, what, six rounds? What, what was that, six or four rounds? I ain't even going to hold you. I watched the highlights of it. I'm coming in right now. I'm coming in hot right now, ladies and gentlemen. We got 50 people on the live. Smash that like button. Your boy took a lot of punishment. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Final punch count, man. All right, ladies and gentlemen. The, the judges. Majority decision. St one one thirteen one thirteen one thirteen one thirteen draw. Fourteen twelve. 14-12 last scorecard. They give it to Martinez, ladies and gentlemen. Martinez wins. Um, wow. I'm, I'm honestly, you know, coming into that fight late, I'm going to, you know, Cordova is going like this. He's saying he did not win the fight. Cordova, salute, salute to Jackie Hernandez, the sponsor. For today's, you know, um, commentating, salute, salute. Thank you, Jackie. Smash the like button, ladies and gentlemen. Smash the like button. We got here a split decision win. Um, 
Could Martinez comes with the win. Um, Cordova believes he gets robbed in this fight. Not happy whatsoever. I'm telling you, he's not happy whatsoever. And it is what it is. Let's see what Martinez got to say. But ladies and gentlemen, so ladies and gentlemen, did you guys see yesterday's fights? I mean, tell me yesterday's fights weren't hot. I mean, starting with overtime, we were supposed to do an interview with um, Elijah Pierce uh, today. I'll get you guys that interview tomorrow. He did get dropped. His ass almost, you know, went out the ring. I'm not going to lie. His ass almost went out the ring. And he ended up uh, stopping his opponent. He was losing the fight and ended up stopping his opponent. So, you know, um, salute to uh, uh, Elijah Pierce. I think that he showed a lot of grit coming into that top rank card, though. Um, let's start with uh, Morataya. I mean, let's start with Morataya. Morataya right away wanted to start talking about, hey, you know, um, I want the big fights with Shakur Stevenson and Devin Haney. And looking at that performance, I'm going to give the kid the benefit of the doubt. He's a young kid. Now he's, what, he's, what, 16 knockouts, 19 fights. Uh, he's undefeated. Um, listen, you know, Robert Garcia got a lot of high hopes for the kid. I think he has a lot of, a, a lot of great talent. But let me tell you something. Yesterday was interesting to watch him work. Um, first things that I noticed, his face coming into the ring. I didn't like it. He didn't look like he was himself. You know how everybody was complaining about, oh, Spence didn't look good walking into the ring. Well, Mordecai didn't look good, all right? He was flat. Um, he wasn't turning his punches. He was slapping a lot of the punches, man. And it was very... Uh, it it was very sad to see because you when you when you look at a guy like Robert Garcia, the, those Mexican fighters, um, the way they train, they train to punish you, body shots, turn your punches, rip, rip, everything is thrown hard. You know what I mean? Pause. But at, at the end of the day, it's like it was sad to see him. You know, hitting, hitting like you know, no offense, like a like a female, like you know. Sometimes when girls they hit you with like you know the palm or something like that, so you know it was it was hard to see him not try to connect with the two knuckles. Um, he was he was doing the Philly shell, and it, and I see at times it was working out on the defense, but that was new for me as well. Um, I didn't even know that Robert Garcia even taught that type of style to be real. Um, but nevertheless, uh, we could. You know, what What can we say? Now we have Lara uh, fighting. You know, he has a belt. He has the WBA. You know, we also have Charlo with the WBC. And then you have that uh, Jenna Beck. You know, Jenna Beck has the other belt as well. So, you know, he's, uh, you know, Lara is already in the locker room suited up. What does he have? He has a, does he have a picture of himself on his shirt? I don't know. Um, he's in the locker room, warmed up, uh, negotiable, notable 40 plus year old champions, notable. So we got Foreman, Golovkin, Hopkins, and Pacquiao. So they're, what are they trying to say? Now we have Danny Garcia in the building. Salute to Danny Garcia, the Philly dog. You could tell that he really wanted this Laura fight. Mill City, why is Tank versus Martin not announced yet? Because you, you listen. You you start promoting that fight, and it's so far out. This fight would be less attractive. People would want to, you know, less plane tickets will be bought in. You know what I mean? Um, you know, Prime, they got a lot of things happening in April as well. You know, they got a lot of stuff. So to 
to try to sell that card, knowing how big that card looks, knowing we did so many interviews with so many different trainers and fighters on that card, letting y'all know that they're fighting on that date. So it's just really, you know, uh, us just waiting, waiting for it. But they do, they do have other dates in April, and they have to promote those, and they they're not gonna look as attractive, you know. If you're like a boxing hardcore fan that you tend to go to like, you know, fights every month or whatever, like that's what you do. Yeah, you, you're probably gonna just wait for the tank fight. You know what I mean? That that's just my opinion. I don't think they're just going to announce it because I've heard so many different fighters say, yeah, I, I got a date, but I can't announce it yet. I got a date. Caleb Plant said the same thing. You know what I mean? Smash the like button, ladies and gentlemen. Smash the like button. Going back to yesterday's fights as well, man. Estrada versus well, Villa. Let me tell you, what a fight. The girls put on a fight, man. Um, Estrada come in, came in there southpaw with a weird style, trying to throw the hook. Like, try, it look, I call it the rolly hook. It was looking weird. But she ended up fixing it up, finding her timing. Um, you know, Villa's team, uh, she was saying that, you know, that was an intentional headbutt. I don't think it was intentional. I think both girls were really trying to go at it. Um... They thought they got robbed. I think that uh, Estrada, you know, really edged it out. Um, but nevertheless, a uh, good fight from the ladies last night. Um, and then going back to uh, Raymond Mortatayo, um, he needs to clean things up if he wants to fight guys like Shakur Stevenson. I mean, I know he's right in line for those fights. But in reality, if that was Shakur Stevenson last night, he would have been he would have been picked apart. He would have been picked apart, and he would have had to be forced to fight a different type of fight, a slugfest fight, a dirty fight, to be able to at least try to find some type of respect with Shakur Stevenson. Now, I'm not trying to big up Stevenson whatsoever, but he's just he's a sharp, sharp, sharp fighter. And uh, Mordentia had too many holes, um, and I can imagine. But uh, do I still want to see the fight? Yes, I won't. I won't shun. I would rather see that Mordecai fight than the guy that he's fighting, um, Artem. I'm not going to front. But then again, Artem showed, you know, that he could perform against Martin, you know, Frank Martin. So, you know, at that level. And, you know, Mordecai, he has had great, great performances. So, I mean, I'm not going to shit on him just because of what had happened. But, uh, yeah, you already know. Smash the like button, ladies and gentlemen. Smash the like button. Subscribe to the channel. It's your boy Mills from Mill City Boxing. And like I said, you know, we got Danny Garcia talking his talk. We definitely need some Danny Garcia back in boxing. I think he's still got more to give. He definitely got some more to give. Um, nevertheless, getting into the main event were Oscar Valdez and uh, Liam Wilson. Let me tell you, it was a great fight. Um, you could see that, you know, I did favor Wilson in the fight. And let me tell you, um, the first two rounds, he had it going on the right way. You know, he was using the jab, you know, throwing the right hand right after it. You know, um, I, I I told you guys that I think he has an amazing uh, left hook. Maybe I, I forced it. Maybe not amazing. But he got a better left hook, in my opinion, than Oscar Valdez. And he decided to throw the uppercut more than the left hook. That was his decision. I think his game plan of knowing that, you know, I want to take Oscar Valdez into deep waters. I want to wear him down. I want to break him down by pushing the little guy backwards. Once we seen that, um, you know, Oscar Valdez started, you know, finding his timing, started using lateral movement. He started finding ways to create. Um, and then next thing you know, Wilson just tense, just straight up from round after he was done chasing him. Next thing you know, he's just trying to play the inside game. And, you know, with the, and I feel like with the stamina that Wilson had, I feel like the game plan was working, but he was taking way too much punishment while that 
you know, going into the inside, trying to throw bombs. Um, the uppercut was, you know, he he does have a good uppercut, but I think it was used too much. I think that he looked at the, like, I, I seen him throwing lead uppercuts like if he was Navarrete, you know. I mean, he didn't have the hops and the explosiveness as a Navarrete. But, yeah, he was he was trying to throw lead uppercuts and stuff like that. And I was just like, man, you, 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 you're not Navarrete. So, nevertheless, tail to the take um, for, you know, Lara and uh, Zafara, Michael Zafara. He's from Australia. He's he's coming. He's really trying to make a name for himself. He's 31 and 4, 19 KOs. Lara is 29 with 3 and 3 draws. 17 KOs Lara has. So we have the fight. The fighters are in the ring, ladies and gentlemen. The fighters are in the ring. We're going to be breaking it down. Also, Nonito Torner is also helping um, you know, coach Zarafa, you know, I remember talking to Donair actually setting up an interview and he said that we're going to do an interview after this fight. So hopefully we'll get him on next week. Um, but nevertheless, he's, he was in camp with them and he was working hard, you know, uh, Laura's 40 years old and Zarafa is 32 years old, man. The reach is only at one inch arm reach difference, 75-inch reach for Alara, which is a 74 with Saraha. Um, seems like, you know, the Australian is getting his opportunity right here with four losses and still in contentions uh, to, uh, you know, Australian boxing, man. They're doing their thing. Salute to the 130 people on the live. Do me a favor, smash the like button. If you can't find the like button, hit the three dots in the corner, and it'll get you to the like button, ladies and gentlemen. All right. They're putting Vaseline on Laura. I believe Laura is the favorite in this fight. Um, the thing about it is, is that has he got old overnight? You know? Um, we got Alan Huggins. As our referee for tonight, for this bout, Zarafa, Michael Zarafa, Shakur can't beat Tank in a fight, only in a foot race. Tank beats Frank easy. Ooh, salute, salute. Okay, salute, salute. Salute to the 150 people on the live as well. Like I said, we have Michael Zarafa. Standing at six feet tall, weighed in at 158 pounds. He is 32 years old, ladies and gentlemen. He does have firepower himself. Michael Zarafa, salute from Orlando. Salute William Morlet Morales. William Morales, salute, salute from Orlando. Salute, salute. We got this fight coming up, ladies and gentlemen, and I like it. The WBA champion, Lara, 40 years old. He is 29 with three losses, three draws, and 17 knockouts. He weighed in at 159.8 pounds. The champion, this guy's been in there with the best of them. This guy has been in there. He has been trained by one of the legendary, you know, legendary coaches out there. Silas, did Giovanni Cabrera fight yet? Yes. I taught boxing. Damn, Lara is 40. God damn. Salute, salute. False lies. Salute, salute. We got Willie in the building. Smash that light button, ladies and gentlemen. We got 189 people on the live. And I'm going to have my man Willie tap in with us. He's going to come and commentate with me to make this thing a little bit more interesting. Yeah, fail me. Round one is starting, ladies and gentlemen. This is for the WBA 154 world. No, this is for, this is 160 pounds. Correction. Round one, ladies and gentlemen. Round one. We have Laura. 
southpaw, ladies and gentlemen. So he's throwing his right, his, the right jab. Salafa circling around. We have uh, Lara throwing the jab right to the body, stabbing to the body. Nice power jab, right? Landed. We have Sarafa, you know, doubling, tripling the jab, just measuring up, guys. You know what it is. This is that feel out round. You know what time it is. I'm going to be hopping on with you in a minute. Salute, salute. Let's go. Okay, we, uh, Lara shooting the one, two, missed both shots. Bless you. We got Sarafa measuring up. Laura's Laura's jab, you can tell, has a lot of power in it. He's sitting on every every shot. This is the older Laura guy, so you're not gonna see the the Laura with the, the the like light 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 feet. You're gonna see him sitting on shots more. You know, he's gonna show his experience at the same time. But Laura, Laura, Laura got his instincts still. You know what I mean? Laura, Laura got his lead hand down. Laura knows that he is the slicker fighter. Nice jab from Lara landed. You already see that uh, Serafa's nose is already, you know, like a cherry. These guys are still measuring up with their jab. Not a lot of movement. Not a lot of stuff going on. Not a lot of combinations. Not at all. Just jabs. Serafa's mad, though. <laughs> His nose is red. You know what I mean? I think I think Lara hit him with that up jab. Mmm, big left over at the hand left hand landed for Lara. Nice shot from Lara. Probably the best best shot of the night, best shot of the, the round so far. How them limbs legs look at it. Let, let me tell you, man. Ooh, nice yo. Lara just timed him with a beautiful a power jab right there, bro. Um the legs are looking decent right now. You know what I mean? Um, the the young Zarafa hasn't really pushed the guy backwards, so he hasn't really pushed the pace. I can't really tell you right now, Hamza, but it looks good right now. He's looking smooth. You know what I mean? It's that feel-out round. And at the same time, you know, honestly, Lara looked like he might be the bigger puncher in this fight too. So, you know, he kind of going to get him, Hamza. Like, he's, get, he, he, he's, he's, he's stepping to him, you know? He's stepping to him. Now Zorafa stepping to him. Ooh, big right hand from Zorafa landed. Wow. I would have to give that round to a uh, easy round to Lara, guys. That's an easy round to score. Uh, anybody tell you anything different? They don't know shit about boxing. I ain't gonna hold you. That first round went to Lara easy. Um, so round one, Lara. Feel out round, not a lot, a lot, a lot of moving, but you definitely had, you know, Laura landing more jabs, and uh, he had the over the, over the left hand shot that landed very well. So we have Nonito Donaire in Zorafa's corner and Rachel Donaire in the corner as well for Zorafa. Got the, the great Nonito Donaire. The great Nonito Donaire in Zorafa's corner. Can't go get it ready. Round two, ladies and gentlemen, round two. Zorafa coming in, trying to take, stepping up the pace, Zorafa, with his jab. You know, now he's throwing combinations. He has Laura in the ropes, not much landed. More arm punches than anything else. Never know how those judges are going to, you know, you know, score those little combinations there. But nothing really landed. Now we see uh, Zorafa throwing the jab, and we're we're looking at uh, you know, you can see that Lara's trying to counter. He's sitting back and trying to counter because he got his timing. I can see it. So, but we have Zorafa picking up the pace, pushing the pace. You know, testing the old man. You know, I can see what he's doing. Lara got a lot of experience, though. Oh, nice. Uh, Lara's going right over the top of his jab. So, you know, he's controlling the pace with his jab. 
very similar to what Walters did with, uh, you know, uh, Joseph Adorno this uh, this Wednesday. Yes, sir, he did. Smash the like button, ladies and gentlemen. Smash the like button. Over the top left hand missed from Lara. Um, this is a close round because you just don't know how they're going to uh, really score. But I got to tell you, Lara is really landing that jab consistently. He just landed that jab again. He's just timing it over the top, right under his jab, over the top of his jab. It's a beautiful jab, you know what I mean? The right. You know, he's a southpaw. Oh, nice one two landed on uh, for Lara. Lara's looking beautiful on round two. Yeah, school's in session, absolutely. School's definitely in session. Yeah, and, and it's 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 just the beginning, bro. You know? Um L Lara hasn't even he, he's not even testing his tank at all. Like he hasn't put no effort into trying to hurt the bull yet. He right now he's just giving him, like you said, escuela. The old man's strength for the win. Lara KO. Tu cre? Vamos a ver. Ooh, nice. B big right hand. I mean, big left hand from um, uh, Lara. So now Lara, Lara's landing with both hands now. He's landing with his his, his, le his right jab and his left hand. So he's, you know. So Rafa, so I, I, like, I like what... Uh, also, what Lara is doing as well in the, in this round, um, he's letting Zorafa think that he's the oh big left hand knockdown. Zorafa goes down. Zorafa goes down round three. He is still down, ladies and gentlemen. He is wobbly. He needs to be called. Call the fight. He goes down. Knockdown. Knockdown, ladies and gentlemen. Knockdown. Lara, third. Round knockdown, straight left hand, ladies and gentlemen. Nonito Donia gives Lara a hug, like man, you're great. It is what it is. Diablo, May Day, May Day. Zurafa don't even know what hit him. I've been dito. <laughs> Smash the like button, ladies and gentlemen. Smash the like button. Laura, third round, KO early. Zurafa. Oh, now Nonito's putting ice on, on Zurafa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all right. He just caught you, bro. You know, it happens, man. It's, you know, it's all good. Bandito. <laughs> Oh, man, he hit him with the one-two. Like I said, ladies and gentlemen, it all starts with the jab. Yo, and he had him. Baby, I think he had him coma. Look at, look at, look at. He had him like a, look at, boom, in his pockets. He put him in his pockets, ladies and gentlemen. A one-two, right hand, left hook. The basics, ladies and gentlemen, the basics. <laughs> no, my bad. Let me tell you something. So, yo, so you throw a lazy jab. My man, yo, Hamza, he threw a lazy jab, bro. He threw a lazy jab. My man pulled, threw the right jab, <laughs> threw the left, threw the left straight. Simple. It was like preschool stuff. Wow. Get him out of here. Pack it up. Get him out of here. Bendito, nonito. <laughs> Vamos a hablarle, Leo, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna talk to Donito. Be like, yo, what, what, what type of pet talk you gave to Rafa in the corner, papito? Yow. Wow, Papa, Papa, you're gonna see that highlight on the Premier Boxing Instagram channel in just a second, papito. Stay tuned. Wow. Donito still giving him that pet talk. Todavía, I love Donito. He just seems like the sweetest person ever and, and very genuine. He really is, yo. Now we got Roly Romero back with Silas. He got Stitch in his corner, I see. He's putting on the gloves. Our co-main event, ladies and gentlemen. So I, I like what Prime is doing here, ladies and gentlemen. Look, 
We have our co-main event about to start, and it's 9.30 in the East Coast time. Prime is doing it right. We got Isak Cruz swinging, swinging on the pads like a maniac. Like, how don't you get tired? He's swinging. The, he, he's really swinging like a maniac right now. He's about to punch himself out. He's in the locker room. Roley don't even got his gloves on yet. Now it got real. Papa, it got real. That was yo, That was first class. That was first class commentating if I if, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, Prime looks good. It do. Still and still the WBA champion. So Danny Garcia, most likely we will see Danny Garcia and Lara next. Which is nice. You know, because we all wanted to see it. I don't know who y'all got. Who y'all got? Lara or Danny Garcia? Let me know what y'all think in the comment section. If, if if Lara fights Danny Garcia next, who y'all got? Let me know what y'all think in the comment section. Smash that like button, ladies and gentlemen, as well. Mm. Rolly too clummy. Clumsy. He got KO. He KOs by Cruz. Lara. You got Lara. We got Danny Garcia. Ray Oru got Danny Garcia. Jackie got Lara. Hamza got Danny. Danny's different, Papa. Stewart got Lara. All right. I like it. So we got we got two Laras, two Dannys. Lara versus Elijah Garcia. That's a fuego. That's a fuego. But, yo, let me tell you something. Elijah Garcia still got to go see my boy Kyron Davis. He still got to see him. My boy Kyron, he, he, he worked hard to get in shape for this fight. Breadman said that he, he this was a good Kyron Davis camp. And he wasn't able to fight today because Elijah Garcia was sick. He got sick. He posted a whole bunch of stuff there. So we got Whit, we got Danny. We got another Danny. We got another Lara got no shoes anymore. He do look a little flat, but like I said, man, 40 years old, you gotta start adding new tricks to your table. You know? But yeah. Yo, but does does Lara really need those that the those legs that he used to have to fight Danny? Cause you know Danny got like a like a fifth toe. He a flat footed fighter too, right? So we got two flat footed fighters, and we, we, you know what I mean? That's a good fight. That's a good fight. Co-main event, ladies and gentlemen. Who do we have here? What's the poll looking like? 58 votes. 57 of y'all. 57 of y'all believe Pitbull Cruz wins tonight. I like it. Y'all, y'all right too, because that's what's gonna happen. Um, what'd you say, Hamza? Hamza, you said what? Danny by eight? Yeah, Omac. He won. I'm late to the party, fam. Who won the early fights? Cormel, Sarafa, who won, fam? Sarafa, Sarafa got put in the pocket, bro. Third round KO. Third round KO, bro. He Lara put him in his pocket, son. Sarafa looked crazy. I got to talk to Nonito. Be like, what happened, papito? I'll be like, yo, listen. Be like, listen, man. You can't fight for them. You could just advise them. I feel you. I feel you. If Roley gets knocked out, I'm going to be dying laughing. I think he wins. Gotcha. That's messed up. You're going to just laugh? <laughs> Yo, we've been seeing Roley on the... Roly, Roly in a coma by Tank. 
We seen him on the floor with Barroso. What role are we going to see tonight? What role are we going to see tonight? I'm going to be dying laughing. I think he wins, though. Come on. Yo, I think it's because of the size. He's big. Pause. We still need justice for Barroso. I haven't forgot. Chacho. You got to get that get back. Oh, yeah. Que se gane Pipo Cruz por, por Rosie. Por, por Rosie. Por, por Roli trying to charge me for an interview. Toma ahí. Pitbull Cruz is walking to the arena now, ladies and gentlemen. The one that gets golfed. Rollie's on his bike today. But, yo, ladies and gentlemen, let, so listen, let, let's play. Let's play. Um, let's tell the future right here. Round one. What does Rollie do? Is he on his bike right away? And when does Roly start to get active? Let me know what you think in the comment section. I need to know. Also, smash that like button. We got over 100 people on the live. You can smash that like button. If you don't know where the like button is, hit the three dots in the corner. and It'll get you to the like button to help us improve the visibility of the show. Let me know what y'all think, man. Does Roly from from the bell? Does he is he on his bike, ladies and gentlemen? Tell the take, ladies and gentlemen. Tell the take. The money line is plus two forty for Roly, negative three ten. So the favorite is Pippo Cruz. Pippo Cruz is the favorite. Pippo Cruz twenty five wins, two losses. One, one, uh, and then he has 17 KOs, and then Rolly Romero 15 and one with 13 KOs. Rolly's fighting right now. Rolly is 28 years old, and Pitbull Cruz is only 25 years old. Rolly Romero weighed in at 139 point. Six pounds and Pippo Cruz weighed in at 138.8. Roly is 5'8. Pippo Cruz is 5'4. Roly has a 67 inch reach and Pippo Cruz has a 66 inch reach. So, oh, well, 65 inch reach. So, it's not really much of a difference there. Uh, Pippo Cruz is a nine year pro versus Roly Romero is a seven year pro. So, that's the tail of the take. Um, not much of a difference in the arm reach, two inches. Um, when it comes to height, height don't really matter. Especially Roly. Roly don't got the IQ to even be able to use his height for an advantage. I mean, he is a little athletic, so he knows how to use his lateral movement to stare away from danger. But his IQ, we already know. It's a little not. His IQ is not good looking like my Spanish. You feel me? It's not very good looking. Smash the like button, ladies and gentlemen. Smash the like button. Via mi sangre. Tenemos aquí. Tenemos aquí. El colombiano. El colombiano. Let's go, buddy. Hello. Right on time. Right on time, bro. Smash oh, sure. the like button, ladies and gentlemen. Smash the like. We got over 189 Wait, people on the I missed the it. Did Lada get the KO? Yes. Lada got the KO in the second round. I didn't the expect that round. either. Was it? It looked like the second. Um, but, um, yeah, he caught him pretty good. That was fussy. Yeah. I mean, Zarafa had some good previous fights. I'm, I'm kind of surprised he got washed like that by him. Washed. Bro, washed. Back to the drawing board. Wait a minute. You might have been right. That might have been the second round, to be honest with you. 
Yeah, bro, I was just watching. I'm like, hey, yeah, you, was like you, you watching the, the, no, the you watching a different fight? <laughs> no, 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 it was the second round. I'm over here thinking it was the third. Nah, I was over here like, hold on. No, let me lie. What was the second round? Pit, Pitbull coming out right now. It's just mad funny, bro, because yeah, he has that smile on, but you know how serious he is. Between Roly and who are you picking, Roly or Isa? I'm I'm picking Cruz. I'm going Cruz, for Roly. Cruz, Cruz is the favorite. Yeah, yeah. I'm Roly's the underdog. I'm going for Roly. He's a part of my parlay right now. Yeah. How how's your parlay looking? Right now, I got Roly. I think um I saw that Alexis Roca. He's not fighting on this card, obviously, but I think he's fighting in general tonight. So he's fighting Frederick Lawson, which is the dude that just got knocked out by Virgil. Yeah. Um, so that should be an easy W for him. And then I got uh Fundora beating Zoo, and then Gilberto winning his fight too. Crazy how they got that kick coming coming to fight already. Who? And he just got knocked out by Virgil. Bro, it, it from a business standpoint, it, it makes the most sense. Look, they, they said they offered the fight to who? To to Lubin? And that they offered the fight to Lubin, and he gave him that excuse, I'm not ready. He said Bro, that's cap, though. Man, come on, man. You, anybody could say it's cap. But if they offered you the fight and you said you wasn't ready, then, you know, that's your fault, bro. You should stay in shape. That's why check, they gave it to Fundora. Fundora's ready. Chequea, chequea, people, Cruz con el sombrero. That, that yeah. white sombrero, that shit is fire. Yeah, I, I think, I think, um, I think Roley could play good with his aggression because people, I feel like people does really bad when somebody taunts him. What's up, Jackie, Jackie, Jackie? Um, que te digo? Yeah, man, I, I feel like Roly can can kind of play mental games in the ring with Iza. You know what I mean? And it could probably play in his favor. Because, yeah, Iza's aggressive, but you saw it a lot in the Giovanni fight. When Iza couldn't beat him, he was getting frustrated as fuck. So, <laughs> I, I, I hope... You, could, you finna lose your parlay, bro. Tim guy. <laughs> Tim got this night. Listen, Rosalind. Don't 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 wish that negative stuff upon me. <laughs> Come on. Nah, but you know what? My boy Hobbs says, damn, you done tonight. Hey, 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 hey. You know what? If he wins, I don't hear shit from this comment section. <laughs> Natasha, Natasha Bass goes, I got Fandora winning too. Yeah, I mean, come on, man. He's 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 as young as um as Tim, you know what I mean? So, check it out, Roly. Don't know. Look at Roly. Yeah. Yo, I'm telling you, the, the parlay is crazy, bro. But yo, look sometimes at you gotta take crazy Tell gambles him. to win. You know what I'm saying? Yo, yo, you see how yeah. he just like he like backed into the ropes like a retard. Who? Roly. Yeah, I think Roly just. He's just Roly, bro. Yeah, Roly got <laughs> Roly is Roly. But I'm yeah. telling you, th this could easily flip, man. He's, I think, that he's going to go through a cakewalk. You never know, bro. Remember, yeah. Roly became Roly became champion way before Iza. You know what I'm saying? Regardless. So. He's, he's got the skills to, Jimmy, to win. Jimmy Lennon Jr. for the take. My guy. My guy. My guy. He's, he's like still that under many packed up promotions, right? Um, Pitbull Cruz, yes. Hey. The referee, oh, Tom <laughs> Taylor. Referee Tom Taylor got the fresh cut for the fight. <laughs> hey. <laughs> yeah. Easy, easy lines. All right, but I see you, I see you. I know, man. I got to go with my dude, Roly, man. And Aliyah, take that. I know, girl, what are you, crazy? Yo. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, please, the, the boys and right girls, smash the like button. We got 278 people on the live right now. Smash that like, smash that like. That button right there on the left-hand side, the, the little lower corner. Just got to do one tap. Blam. The one three hand. button. The three <laughs> dots, right? <laughs> Five. You got to hit the three dots, and then it'll get you to the like button, ladies and gentlemen.
Fundora's ribs getting caved in, bro. I mean, it could be a possibility, though. But remember that Fundora loves to use that uppercut, and Tim loves to be in front of you. That uppercut can, can come from hell, bro. You know, just send Tim to the upside down. You never know. Yo, Look. that that uppercut so long, pause, that it'd be like a straight punch. Yeah, that that's the same. You know, people were saying the same thing when he fought Lubin. And then the way he caught Lubin and then the way he took him out, that's the same way it could happen to Tim if you sleep on him. And that kid Bro. got nothing to lose. Rolly, remember, you, you see Silas? Silas get it, man. Nobody believed Rolly going to do it, bro. You never know, man. Rolly looking solid, bro. You never know. Come on, Romero. Does does Mayweather promotions come into play again? <laughs> Mayweather promotions versus Ooh. Manny Pacquiao promotions? <laughs> does Ironically. Does Mayweather promotions kill the Vegas line right now? Do, does he uh, kill it right now? I don't know, man. Like, I, I'm I'm just hoping Romero has a good first round. Then I'll be able to be like, all right, maybe he might be able to to handle this fight. Hell no. He ain't in my parlay. You never know, bro. You never know. Broly's the bigger man, man. You never know how that shot might 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 hurt him. Yo, real quick. Is he on his bike from, from round one? Broly, nah. tell me right now, quick. Nah. No, he's coming straight up. Ooh, ooh, ooh wait, wait. he definitely on his bike right now. Oh, you already started? Yeah. Oh damn. Oh no, how the hell is your shit behind, man? We we on the same internet. <laughs> you you on chill, optimum chill, chill, internet? Chill, 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 chill. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm right Papa, here. you sweating already? Nah, we good over here, man. I, I even brought a paper, you know. Ooh, a big over the over the top right hand from Pippo Cruz lands. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's right. normal. That's, that's normal. Right. Pipple's gonna, Pipple's gonna do that at first. He's gonna try to play his aggression. Rolly needs to. Pipple Cruz with the go. high guard. No, and that's yo, nothing. Is... And and oh. and oh, big Rolly shots just needs to. He, Rolly needs to weather this storm. A lot of people round. don't think. A lot of the people don't think that this will last four rounds, ladies and gentlemen. No, I think it, Rolly just needs to. Yeah, exactly. Play into his aggression. Pitbull. He could do the same uh, thing Giovanni did. Rolly, Rolly on his bike, though, Papito. Yeah, nah, he has to be. He can't be stationary in front of Isa. But he's doing the right thing. He's moving around. Salute to Claymore Rain in the building. Salute, salute, man. Hey, yo, yo Claymore, you smashed smash, yo, smash that like button, too, bro. You just got in here, right? Ro Rolly out of here. Yo, don't throw my mans into the dirt yet. Hold on, man. The fight's still going on. Come on, Romero. Oh, He's doing the Rolly, right thing, though. Rolly doing the right thing. Don't stay on the ropes. Get the Rolly hell out of the body. Yeah, this is what Isa's going to do. He's he's going to try to... Big be over right hand from, from Rolly. Two, three still rounds. In the round one, ladies and gentlemen. We're still in the round one. Oh, big... See, you know, Rolly's starting to use his size, his lateral movement, and his arm reach. Even though that he doesn't have a huge arm reach, but... He's he's using Oh the, no. Like, Yo, you don't want to no, know. Oh nothing. my don't god. Oh my god. Don't say Yo. nothing. Don't oh say nothing. Oh my god. You're about to see it right now in the, like 10 seconds, bro. Oh Pitbull my Cruz god. Pitbull Cruz with the KO. Yo. High guard with Pitbull Cruz. Oh no. Come Pitbull on, Rolly shoulder Pitbull roll. Pitbull Cruz hurt Rolly. Mayweather promotions. Mayweather Pitbull promotions. Big <laughs> left hand. Big left hand. Oh, noodle leg. Noodle legs, ladies and gentlemen. Noodle legs. Roly needs to get out of this. He needs to. There we go. There we go. Come on, Roly. Weather the storm, bro. Weather the Roly storm. Roly on his bike. The most Roly on the bicicleta. Roly on the bicicleta. He got to He got to weather the storm. Big shots. Big shots are coming from Pippo Cruz. Roly is exhausted. Roly does not know what's going on, ladies and gentlemen. No, no, no. Roly, this is, this is, we we knew this was gonna happen from oh, round one that he was gonna come super aggressive. Pitbull Cruz made Roly do the stanky leg way worse than Lenares made Devin Haney look. Way worse. Nah, I think it's like the same exact thing. Nah, bro. Only Yo, bro. Ro Roly did Roly's legs move, but his, Yo, bro, his body was, didn't wobble. He was two seconds away from looking like Elijah Pierce last night. Ooh, damn. Elijah Pierce got destroyed. <laughs> oh. 
This is this is straight though. Round one over. Round one, an easy round for Pitbull crew. But wow. again, wow. he he got to play through his aggressiveness. Yo, yo, Roly didn't drop from that. I can't believe that. Well, I told you. That's what I'm saying. He needs to get through the first three rounds right now. Yo, I can't let believe he's on. So he listen, gotta let Iza do his thing. Because because Roly wasn't on his bike like Barroso, he got caught like that in the first round. Yeah, yeah. But see, Roly clipped him. Roly clipped him with a good shot too. But Iza caught him first. Respect to respect to Roly for not running. Respect to Roly for not being on the bicicleta. He just has he just has to get to the he was just on his first three rounds, bro. Because was on don't, his don't forget that Roly también tiene power. You know, so yeah, that, that bien, but the, the the power that got landed is the what that the the Isaac the, the Cruz left hook. He just gotta weather the storm, bro. He weathers like, the storm. This could turn into a good fight. Just like Coach Kenny says that he's a ale- he's allergic to the left hooks. Most definitely, round two, we'll ladies and gentlemen. Round we'll two, ladies and gentlemen. Round two, round two is looking like Roly so far. He's landing the better shots. Okay, I just started. So, oh, big left hook from from uh, Cruz. We have Roly. Clinching on. Oh, we got Roly throwing some shots. He got to. He got to use that Giovanni strategy right now. When he comes in aggressive, hold him oh, until he starts to get aggravated. Big over the top right hand. See, but get off the ropes, bro. Oh, my God. Oh, he clipped these out with a good shot, too. We got Isa the aggressor in round two, ladies and gentlemen, obviously. Um, but I'll tell you right Damn, now. they got Roly's thingy went up higher too to five fifty. Nobody thinks he's gonna win now. Yeah, of course not. Big body shot to coming from Cruz. Nah, I don't. I don't see Roly winning this round at all. I mean, he's doing a little bit better because his ass is not on. He's not on noodle legs right now. But he. Yeah, he bro. It's the it's right. the first three rounds. He gets through the first three. He's he might be able to weather the storm and and clip Ezo with something good. No, not the body shots that Isa's giving them. They're sneaky little body shots he's throwing in there. Yeah, but look at the ones. Oh, he's shit. He's going to be slowing down. He's going to slow down. Yo, holy shit, man. I ain't got it from Roly doing anything he can to try to weather that aggressiveness. He need to move better. And then definitely move left and right because he's, he's moving to just, to the, just to the right. At least, yo, Roly's throwing some big shots. He just clipped them. Yeah, um, but you could tell he's kind of hurt right now. No, he's hurt. I'm in, I'm in 50 seconds to go. He, he, you could tell I he's a, hurt. I got like a minute and six, five seconds. Got Isa Cruz pushing the pace still. Now we're starting to see that lateral movement coming back from Roly. Roly's starting to throw shots and trying to pull away real quick because, you know, he feels like he could do that, which he can, but not all night. Yeah, no, nah, he has to, like I said, he has to play with Isa's aggression. Like, right now, he's landing the, the overhand right pretty well, but he needs he, to watch out with Isa's rolling, rolling overhand. In the rolling in the bicicleta. Rolling in the bicicleta. Oh, no, look at ro- rolling. Right there. Oh, shit. Let's go. Oh, now nah, he got clipped again. Shit. It's a good yeah, fight so far. Yeah, but it's ooh, great, great over the top right hand from, from uh, Pitbull Cruz. Round two, round two just ended for me right now. Nice body shots from Pitbull Cruz too. Yeah, this one I still is give it to Pitbull. Winning. Round two to Pitbull. Absolutely. You Mur Mur D fit. What is it? Mur D fifteen gave the second round to Roly. It could it could have gone either way, but I think Pitbull got just more of the the sneaky nah, shots. I want to give it to him. I got I got Pitbull. Pitbull's work rate too was up. too much. Too up like. Yeah. I, I I like I like Roly's. He he did a lot better than the first that, round. That overhand like, right I, that he's landing is landing good, but he's just he, he needs to get on his bike right now. The over the top right hand and the left hook are two money shots for him, and they come from weird angles. Uh, Pitbull Cruz is not. He's Someone not please a tell me Davis went tonight. Over. Davis Davis who? Which Davis? Oosh. You know what kind of sucks for Roly too that every time he punches he goes yeah yeah. I got yeah. it. I got a two. I got a two old Pitbull Cruz. Yeah. 
But see, round three is on right now, and Cruz. I just started. I just started. Still Pit aggressive, Bull. but you could tell he he slowed down just a pinch. Yeah, managing his gas tank. But but oh, you if, can't see that overhand right by Roly. Like well, by P Cruz is hitting Roly like solid. Not much going on in the beginning of round three. Roley just landed nice ass right hand, but he need to stay away because Cruz that overhand right by Cruz is sneaky, and he's short too. You can't even see that shit coming. Big over the top right hand from Cruz again. Oh yeah. no, Kyron Ky Davis, his fight got canceled. Natasha, yeah. if I'm not mistaken, right? Yeah, his fight got canceled. Uh, yep, you're talking so, about the right hook, right? The right hook that that Roley got over over the uh, um. He hits, he hits Cruz right on the side of the guard. Yeah, yeah. That, he can play into that shot a couple. See, he just got him again with that same shot. But Cruz well, is playing into Roley's movement. Like, he's coming in, and Roley's throwing that right hand perfect. Now Roley's starting to throw more straight punches. Yeah, yeah. You know, now round he's three, Round three is looking a little bit more like Roley. He's, well, he's holding him. He's spacing himself out. Smart, he's being smart. more defensive. He's being more well, defensively sound. He he's also um he's giving himself space to throw these shots. You know what I mean? He's throwing it from the wrong range. Another right hand, bro. Another right hand. Ooh. I, actually, I actually do have Roly. Roly did not take that shot. Oh Jesus, man. Oh man. Oh no! Come on, Roly. Don't do that, bro. Don't don't exchange, bro. Don't exchange me. I got a minute and ten seconds left. I got Yo, Roly in round three. You can tell this is like the fight of Roly's life right now, man. He's performing. Yeah, yeah. He's definitely he. This performing. is a a better performance than when he fought um. Como que te digo, uh, Burroughs. Okay, hey, this is the I, I see that exchange you talk about. Yo, but yeah, yeah. I'll tell you right now, Pitbull Cruz. I don't know when when Roly's holding one of his arms and he's landing body shots. I don't know if he's getting in those. Uh, the judges are are giving him those points, and if they're uh, not, he's he's gonna be tiring himself out. Um, Pitbull Cruz is that Romero? Roly Romero. Roly's oh, throwing post. that one too, but damn, he's getting clipped trying to throw that shit. Fuck man, he's just freaking. His aggression is. Fire, but you can tell that these guys want it. Both of them want it. Papa, he's fighting for his life. Yeah, we we can see that. You can see that in his face. <laughs> mm. But he's doing good, man. All y'all we're talking, you know, that little sniper. Roly, really, really doing all right, man. He I'll losing. You, man. Listen, listen. Round round three was very close. I'm gonna give it to Roly because I feel like he landed the cleaner shots. Yeah, the right hands that he was landing was good. I and remember, Roly Roly is the champion too, so you got to take it from him. You know, so, so. so he definitely he definitely earned the round three. Yeah. Look look at look at look. It's ten o'clock, and we have the main event guys. They have they, they're doing the pads and the workout, warming up already. I love Prime already. What round is this? We're, we're, right now, I'm in three. round. Where we right, at? I'm at the beginning round of round four. four. Yeah, we're coming into round four right now. Mm -hmm. You probably Roley throwing started. a couple of good jabs and uh body shot. He's a cruise. His aggression kind of like went down a little bit, which could be because of the fact that Roly got power too, man. You can't just take those shots and, and act like they don't hurt too. You know? mm -hmm. Tri Trilibium. Start from the round four now. Round four. Is there a translate button on YouTube? I can't even see what he's saying, man. Sure, I can't see what you're saying, but if you wanted to know how the fight's going, we're in round four. We got Cruz up by two, right? By Roley... one. By one. No, nah, Cruz is up by two. Roly got one, so we're in round four. Yeah, he's up. He's he's up by one. Yeah. Remember, we're in we're in round four. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So two, two, one. Yeah, two, one. We're up by Roly's up by um, Pippo. Oh. Cruz is up by one. Yeah, yeah. Close round four so far. I see that 
Roley's trying to, you know, keep that distance and, and keep the lateral movement. It was working for him for round three. I see he's continuing that, but he's starting to engage a little bit more in this one. Um, yeah, round four, he's he's hitting Iza with a couple of good shots. Now, and yeah, I don't know, I don't know what it is. Like that, Iza's aggression kind of. Kinda, ooh, Roley yo. just got him with a couple of shots. But you, you know what I, Ro, um, Iza's aggression kind of like went down a little bit. And I don't know if that's because no, he's it, it's not. It's not. It's not. It's not that. Is Roley's actually boxing smart right now? Oh he's, man, he got he's, caught he's, again, bro. He's fucking your distance. Oh, but, Roley got him with a right hand, but Iza's coming back, Roley, too, bro. Roley's come on, Roley. Using, he's using the the lateral the, the lateral movement, but he's doing it with his hands down. So. I, I'm curious to see how these these later rounds go. But I didn't even know this this thing was today. Nah, stop playing, Honda. You know it was today, bro. <laughs> Easy, Queen Roley getting his ass cracked. He definitely not getting cracked, man. He getting cracked, but he cracking back, bro. For everybody that thought that he was gonna do no, four, he's super he's looking good in this four. round four. Damn, why he get clipped again, yo? Shit. Roley looking good round four. Yo, but they both going at it, bro. They both definitely going at it. Because Iza, you can tell Iza feeling his shots, too. You see that? Roley, Roley's trying to land the big uppercut. Nah, Roley's landing that right hand at will. Like, no, especially because right he's... Get the right hook. He's turning his whole body and then throwing that right hand. You, you, Iza Roley, need to be careful. Gotta, he could land that shot really good. Fight. We like, flip him with that shit. Fight. We got a fire fight here around four ladies and gentlemen. That shit is... is, is, is ex Ooh, caught him with another uppie, son. Ooh. Ooh. Let's wow. go. Both right, each right. other with right hands. So I'm gonna go ahead. That that deep water is going to be crazy. I ain't gonna lie. They fighting out in I think Vegas, right? Are they? T-Mobile Arena in Vegas. Yep. Um. The thing about <laughs> the thing about Broly. with Pitbull Cruz is it also is is that he swings a lot of hooks. And he swings them wide, and he can get tired faster than Roley. Even though Roley's using his legs more. Well, and Roley's the bigger man, you know what I'm saying? So even though you, you're blocking those shots, you feel them shit. And look, Roley keeps clipping Iza with that right hand, but Iza right. comes back with that overhand right too. Blah! This shit's a really competitive fight, man. I got it two up. I got it two, two. That's what it is. That's what two up means. Oh man, I don't know. I just say two two, bro. They get two up. Maybe I don't know what you're talking about. Talk English, man. <laughs> I'll, t I'll tell you right now, though. Pop, pop, um, pop your forehead. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, man. My shit is small. You probably talking to George, bro. <laughs> round, round five, ladies and gentlemen. Round five. <laughs> Yeah, two and a half minutes in, Roley, Roley just got a got clipped again by Iza, but he keep landing that right hook, man. That right hook and that right hand is a good good shots for Roley right now. Roley, Ooh, keep it. Let's go, Roley. That's what we doing, bro. That's oh fuck, he hurt. Him. Oh, sorry, excuse me, but he hurt him pretty bad right there. Roley got hurt pretty bad. Mm. No sweat, no sweat. I only bet five bucks, so we good. <laughs> My parlays are small, but the payouts are good. <laughs> oh, right hand from from Isaac from Cruz. Wow. Yeah, Roley landed a combination right there, Tameke. Started pretty decent. Oh, Roley's on that BC glad that he felt that shot. Yeah, I mean, you never know. Maybe this could play out really well in the later rounds. Cause this is a competitive fight. Nice stab to the body. Nice one too from Roley. Damn. Yeah, Roley, yeah, yeah. He's landing his shots too, and he's landing some body shots right now, straight. And I think that was a what left hook to the body. The yeah, that right hook right. from Roley is, is is money. Isa Cruz needs to continue. He needs to work that body, man. Keep working that body. Yeah, I think Roley's fatigued, bro. Yo, Roley's boxing well. He's boxing well, but he's definitely fatigued right now. Or he looks fatigued. Maybe, like maybe. This. I didn't even think Roley had this in him. Like, oh, man. man. Is that 
ease I'd be throwing those crazy hooks, man. Yeah, that shit, them shits look painful, bro. Who's fighting in the main event? Tim Zoo versus Sebastian. Oh, he's not, he's not getting a warning now, too. The main event, Rudy, is uh, Tim Zoo and, and uh, Fundora. A.K.A. David versus Goliath, pretty much. Damn, Roly, his defense is horrible, man. He's just getting clipped. Oh, uh, yeah. Damn, Roly got a point deductor. Damn, bro. Damn, I didn't even get to see that. Yeah, no. my it's coming up like in the next couple of seconds. My bad. Damn, disappointing. Now he definitely need a win because there's no way he's gonna win the fight this right now. Roly's defense need a yo. He put your hands up, bro. By pushing his head down, right? He's, he's just like, he's... He gave he's him only swir- one warning. I'm surprised. He's swerving the punches well, but he's just not keeping his hand towards his, his temple. So he's letting Iza just clip him right there. Come on, Roly. Mm, oh, my goodness. Yo, Pitbull Cruz is trying to make sure he he makes this a, a, a 10-8 round. We got Devin, Roly, Matias, and, and Tio. You heard? Yeah. I don't know if he made it a ten, uh, an eight ten round. Well, what just happened? Yeah, just because of that um, point deduction for sure. Talk about the super lightweight championship. Yeah, people. Um, well, Rollie's might might just lose his title pretty soon. Oh, crush this point. <laughs> Yo, we got over two hundred and what? I got we got two hundred and twenty six people on the live. Smash that like button, ladies and gentlemen, so we can prove the visibility of the show. Hit the three dots in the corner, and it'll get you to the like button. We here live. What is this? This is keep rattle. that hand up, Roly. Keep that hand up, bro. He he throws that on? jab and it doesn't go back to. What are we on here? Round 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 five here. That's crazy. You can't do that against Cruz. We on here round five. Yeah, it's round six actually. We on round six. Yeah, Broly's landed some great shots, but it's just when he throws that that um that jab, it doesn't come back to his face. Like round he six, just how, leaves you, it how, you, how you have it, Willie? How you have it? Because we 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 off on the time. Right, nah, nah. Right now, I, I got Cruz up. You know, just the same way they're showing it off right now. But the last round with the point deduction, it made it worse for Roly. He you needs to three, win. You got a three-two Cruz. Yeah, that's how you got it. All right. Simple. More, more or less. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why they got an eight ten round? Why they gave Roly? Nah, they gave that to Cruz because Roly got the point deduction. Remember? Oh no, no, no! That was a knockdown. There was a knockdown in round one. Oh yeah. Right, the right hook is landing for Roly like consistently. Yeah, man, but his defense is horrible right now, bro. And it's crazy because <laughs> Roly's sparred how many? people and how can you not keep your hands up bro but but right now we're starting to see Roly really starting to be more defensively sound and not necessarily being like oh he's a good defensive fighter not like that we're talking about him moving his legs him yeah trying i to- mean i mean this is the same Roly that that's sparred how many times in the mayweather gym like he should have learned something from it man. it was crazy different type of pressure bro this is a different type of pressure. The Pitbull Cruise. Ooh. Great hooks from, from Pitbull. Pitbull Cruise is definitely slowing down, but nice right hand from Pitbull Cruise. We're here in round six. Great body shots from Pitbull Cruise. Pitbull Cruise has the more of the higher work rate, bro. Point blank. It's going to be hard for Roly to be able to match that work rate. Yeah. You know? Roly's throwing hard shots. Everything that Roly's throwing is hard. He don't throw no soft shit. Ma said, uh, well, M.A., Roly didn't get knocked down in the first. I thought he did. Maybe it was just me. I yeah, yeah, yeah. Was... That's what I was thinking. He, I thought that he didn't He didn't get knocked down. He looked like he just had noodle legs. Yeah, he Yo, got wobbled. You, you went black. You went black. Come out and come back in. 
Right there. Smash the like button. Yeah, he didn't. He, you you right about that. He just did the the, the he he looked worse than Devin Haney. Like I said, he looked worse than Devin Haney against Lenars. La precision. Uh, there 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 goes my parlay. Unless Broly somehow knocks out Isa Cruz. Rolly, you need a miracle from Jesus right now. So another 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 round for Pitbull Cruz. Um how you have it? Four two? Yeah, definitely. Four two Pitbull Cruz. Oh yeah. And it's crazy because Rolly's the bigger dude. He how how did Copy Box got Pitbull Cruz get in the eight an eight ten round? Yeah, am yeah. I still am I frozen again? Yeah. Someone's calling you, right? Yeah, yeah, hold on. Hold on. Smash the like button, ladies and gentlemen. Smash the like button. Subscribe to the channel. Yo, he just got rocked that man. You you facts. Facts. Hit the like button, y'all. Show that love, cause you know you rock with the channel. Hit the three dots in the hit the three dots in the corner right there and it'll get you to the like button. Do me the solid. Pitbull Cruz, Rolly Romero. We rocking. We here, round seven. Rolly Romero's are starting to throw the one, two, one. Ooh, big right hand from Rolly as well. Pitbull Cruz still with the pressure. Rolly sticking the jab, sticking the jab to the gut. Throwing combinations as well. Throwing two-piece combinations. I've been noticing his favorite co solo punch is the right hook around the guard. And then it's the right uppercut left hook. Common combinations that you'll see Broly Romero throw. <laughs> then he likes to measure you up. They call it pawing with the jab. Measurement, whatever you want to call it. Uh, Pitbull Cruz with pressure all day. Um, all day pressure from Pitbull. Pitbull's not respecting Roly's power. Um, all that crazy stuff Roly was talking about, Chihuahua this, Chihuahua that. Mmm. I see a lot of improvements though from Roly though. This is a a, a a a way better better performance than the Barroso fight. So I will give him give him that. But he ain't winning this fight. Where's Rolly's so-called power? I don't know. That right hook is. It, it start. You can start to see that the temperament of of Isa Cruz. The the temperament of Isa Cruz, is, you know what I'm saying? Like it hasn't changed. The energy hasn't changed. So, you know. have to uh respect what we got going on over here. I definitely respect Roly for what he's doing. Roly, Roly, oh my goodness, Roly's taking punishment. Roly's in the ropes. Roly's Roly got hit with, th with four straight punches from Isa Cruz. Roly's hurt, ladies and gentlemen. Roly's hurt. It is round seven. Roly is hurt. We have eight seconds left. Roly is trying to survive the round. Big left hook, big right hook from Isaac Cruz. Roly finds a way to survive round seven, ladies and gentlemen. This fight is going Isaac Cruz's way all the way. He crushed that joker. You know what I'm saying? He's about to get mugged. It's a wrap. It's going down, ladies and gentlemen. Smash the like button, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my goodness. 
Rolly Romero is starting to get punished by Pitbull Cruz. We are now coming into round eight. And I have Rolly Romero only winning two rounds, which is two and three. No, three and three and four. After that, it's been Pitbull Cruz all the way. It's been Pitbull Cruz all the way. The judges and the doctors are at, in, in the corner of Roly. They're checking them up. Are you okay, Roly? Tú está bien, papito. Todo bien. Mira. Dímelo. ¿Cuánto es? What do you see, Roly? Coming into round eight, ladies and gentlemen. Isaac Cruz pushing the pace. Rolly Romero with the lateral movement. Big left, big left hook, big right hook to the body. Left to the head, right to the body from Cruz. Pitbull Cruz just forcing his will to, put, to Rolly. Rolly with the lateral movement. Anything that Roly throws, it's just to, to create some type of separation to, to get Pitbull Cruz to, like, slow down just a bit. But there's no slowing down for Pitbull Cruz. They're fixing Pitbull Cruz's glove right now. This fight is getting interesting. Pitbull Cruz looks like he's in amazing shape coming into round eight. He's not huffing and puffing whatsoever. So it seemed to me... When people were saying he had one of the best training camps of his life, it looks like he's doing a really good job because I, I just don't see any type of fatigueness whatsoever in this fight from Pitbull Cruz. Smash the like button, ladies and gentlemen. Smash the like button. The game test is here. Okay, we got Roly Romero with the lateral movement. Big overhand right from Pitbull Cruz. Left, left hook from him. Pitbull Cruz. And he stopped. Come on, come on. Damn, he stops him. He stops him. He stops him, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, Pitbull him. Cruz stops him. Roly Romero in the eighth round. Eighth round stoppage. Pitbull Cruz. Shit, man. One of the I'll biggest... Wins of his career, I would have to say. At this first time at 142, bro. One of the biggest wins of Pitbull Cruz's career. We have Pitbull Cruz, the new WBA 140 champion, El Chihuahua, El Yo Quiero Taco Bell. Tenemos aquí El Pitbull Cruz. Damn, you could tell Roly doesn't take losing. And the new. Shit, Roly looked like a side puppy right there, bro. The new big Mexican in Puerto Rican showdown with Subiel Matias, WBA champ, no, the WBA champion Pitbull Cruz versus the IBF girl, champion Subiel Matias, Puerto Rican versus. And they Mexican put the mask back on him, too. We need to make this fight happen. I'm so happy that Pitbull. I'm Crazy. so happy that my prediction went right. All I need is Tim Zhu to win, and I win a four-piece parlay, and I'm good. Damn, I'm good. He clipped them hard right there with that stuff, man. Yeah, that's probably the most logical next fight. Cruz versus Matias. Their styles are just... That, that is an amazing fight. Cruz versus Matias. El Guyo del Maltenillo. Oh, yo, he, he sent Roly into the upside down with that, man. But the defense, bro. I don't Big understand left. how you went boxing for this long and you don't know how to freaking defend yourself. Bro. Big yeah. left hook, big right hand from Pitbull Cruz. He curved him out. That's crazy, bro. First time at 140, he just demolished Roly like nothing. Yo, and you know what's good about Pitbull Cruz? You know what was good about Pitbull? Okay, right now, but you know what Subel said, which makes sense. What I would like to see, Subel said that he thinks Tank gets the winner of this fight, so Tank gets Pitbull Cruz at one forty. 
at 140. What do you think? You think Tank goes for that fight next? Damn. I don't know, to be honest with you. Smash the like button, ladies and gentlemen. Salute to Claire Moraine in the building. What's going on? Another member of Mill City Boxing. Salute, salute. What y'all think about a Subia Matias versus a Pitbull Cruz? Mexican and Puerto Rican rivalry. I I prefer to see that first before, like, Tank gets an opportunity to come up and, you know, steal that limelight from Cruz. But, I mean... I mean, who was it? Tank fought. What's his name at one forty? I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be real. What's his name? Um, if I was Cruz, if I was Cruz, I would go with Subia too. Because, to be honest with you, Pippo Cruz don't have a shot to be an um, Devin Haney. He don't even got a shot. So if he knows, if, if he's smart and his team knows that, then you go for a guy like Subia Matias. Um. Manny Pacquiao Promotions has a good relationship with the zone. But Manny Pacquiao Promotions rocks with PBC Heavy too. Hopefully they could hopefully they could make that fight happen, man. Cause if cause that would be considered a big fight. Yeah, big congrats to um Isa Cruz, man. If Eddie if Eddie Hearn is smart. He gets on the line with Manny Pacquiao. He gets on the phone with Manny Pacquiao and says, yo, let's make the Matias and Pippo Cruz fight. It's probably the, stylistically and entertainment-wise, it's definitely the most entertaining fight to make right now. The only person I see trumping that is Tank. Oh, they're talking to Roley. They're trying to get Roley's reaction. At least he didn't walk out the ring this time. Smash the like button, ladies and gentlemen. Smash the like button. If you don't know where the like button is, hit the three dots in the corner and get you to it. That's probably the most sincere. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. The most sincere. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. What? What happened, bro? I'm trying to listen to something, and you like, man, what the? You got this delayed freaking internet. I'm bro. trying to, I'm trying, I'm trying to tell people, show people what what he was gonna say, but then I like, forget it. You, you messing it up for the people. Ooh, they watching it too. Not everybody. Not everybody got it. Smash the like button, ladies and gentlemen. Smash the like button. What did what the channel? What did I was trying to get you. Say? I was trying to get you what what Pippo Cruz, what, what what you know, Rolly. But say say boo to Willie. Go boo Willie in the comments. How about first that? Of all, first of all, let's take that back because I said that that was the most sincerest post fight talk from Rolly. That so what did he say? Legacy. What did he say? Because I wasn't able to hear it. So what did he say? Man, if you was able to hear it, you don't got the ball anymore. I can hear it right now. But, um, oh, you can't hear it. Oh, my God. That's nah, you can't hear it, can you? Can you hear it? Yeah, ah. but you know, he, pretty much what he said, he said, thanks for coming. Thanks for showing up. Thanks for supporting me. Happy Easter. I'll be back. That's all he said. Happy Easter. Oh, okay, okay. So, that's why I say most sincere. Thank you, Willie. We do this for the people. No, this is the coming event. And you got to be happy because it's, it's only 1027. For the main event to happen around this time, that's not bad. I'm that's happy. That, that's Amazon right there, bro. <laughs> Amazon said we ain't getting past 12 here, bro. No, this is a better time slot. Uh, this, nah, is, nah. this is a more expensive time slot. 
Who the hell watches? People got to do things. and uh, People got shit to do the next day. Pitbull Sorry. really want that tank fight though. He he ain't even he don't care about nobody else. He Did he say it? Did he say it? I believe so. I don't have the subtitles on. Um to see what the lady's asking him, but But they're asking him about the other champions. So he called out he called out hey, Haney Tank. And Tio, but he didn't. He didn't call out T, uh, Subriel. Why didn't he mention Subriel, really? There's no money. There's no money in it. I mean, in reality, there really isn't a lot of money in it. You know what I'm saying? That's the reality of it. <sighs> I guess so. Think about it. I mean, it's you. Is Teofimo and Pitbull Cruz pay per view? Yeah. Really? Pitbull, Pitbull generates more numbers than probably double the amount of Subriel. You know what I'm saying? But Settle this down. is where Settle this down. is where these fights could play in his favor because he can fight Isa Cruz, potentially beat him, and then take his fans. You know, and that'll put his name out there more. Um, because that's really only the only thing he's missing. He's just missing like a bigger fan base, a more bigger following, and he'll be able to bring you know that in addition to his name to the table. Yeah, at the end of the day, I know that Subin needs to prove his numbers. So when he does prove his numbers, then I can't wait to see all these other guys. What other excuses they're gonna bring to the table? I mean, we, we've seen this happen with a lot of fighters, you know what I'm saying? They're, they're, especially when they're up and coming, knocking mad people out. You know, we, we all thought at one point Deontay Wilder was the illest heavyweight of all time because he was just knocking everybody out, you know what I mean? And then he finally met somebody that was as skilled as him, and you saw what happened, you know what I mean? So I'm not saying the same thing will happen to Matias. Larry Lipton goes, both these dudes... Out get outboxed by Eastern Europeans. If it's Karen, yeah. <laughs> it's not. It's not hard to outbox Isa Cruz and Roley. Nah, nah. I think it's it definitely is. hard to get around Isa because his pressure and he throws consistent, strong punches. It's you know you gotta like be on your p's and q's. Kind of like Giovanni when he fought Giovanni. He clipped Giovanni a couple of times, but that that dude was just holding and kind of moving too much. It almost got annoying. Giovanni now. looked tr like trash that night. Yeah, but uh, they but Isa did. also. They both did. Did. Yeah, they both did. Hmm. They both did. Smash the like button, ladies and gentlemen. Smash the like button. Now that we are here on a, on a break, hey, um, Arena. Talk here we to me. Uh, here what we you are. What you thought about the fight yesterday? Who yesterday? Uh, they were good, man. They were good. I, I bet a parlay yesterday. The only one that I messed up on was um, uh, Sinisa, because I was betting against her. I was hoping Vajay would would pull the upset, and it almost seemed that way in the beginning because she was she was playing some good aggressiveness, but she was also playing into Sinisa's like jabs and and her hooks, but. You could tell that the time off really affected her. Like she, she looked really um, kind of just she couldn't get her rhythm going. But she won the fight, man. She still won the fight, even on an off night. She won the fight. So. She's she's nasty and undisputed. So tips off to that. But I also like the the Oscar Valdez versus Liam Wilson. That was a good fight too. Good scrap. Um, Wilson came on strong in the beginning, you know, it almost looked like he was landing, he was landing some great shots, first of all, shout out to Liam Wilson, but Valdez used that experience and you saw that play effect, you know, but, um, yeah, you were, it was good. I think if Liam Wilson had a better trainer and a better defense, he, he'd be a, be a bigger threat and that mm. he, he can fight and you can tell he got hard too, but. 
it's just you know these little things little things that you need to work on so that you don't get caught with the same stuff because yeah but it, it was a good scrap the undercard was good too he kept it a buck he said he didn't listen to his corner who he he kept it a buck wilson he said you know i didn't listen to my corner i let the emotions get the best of me and i wanted to you know i wanted to have a phone booth fight yeah I he, was he's to, the, he was trying to push him he was trying to push him backwards and get him tired See yeah, what he did to get him out of there in the deep waters because he knew that the networks weren't behind him, so he felt like you gotta like make sure you don't let give it, you know, give let the the hands of the judges make a call out of it. You feel me? Yeah, nah, for sure, you know. But like the the shots that he did land, because he landed some really good shots on Oscar, but he just stayed in the pocket too long. You know, and with Oscar, he likes to wind up. You know, he leans down and winds up and hooks you and stuff. So he just so, stayed there too long. So I put a poll up, and 182 votes, 66% of y'all believed what I believed. Pitbull Cruz for the win, and he won. Next poll, main event. Fundora. Hey. Who wins this fight? I like Tenzu, man. Tenzu's fire. I like Fundora too, though. I can't even stunt. I like both fighters. Even though Fundora coming off a uh, knock, I lost. Yeah. But it depends on how he comes in, in this fight, you know? if You got to come with that mentality that... You got nothing to lose, man. You got to lay it all on the line, or you're gonna. This dude's gonna take you out. So you gotta Who, do. Who's who's better, Tim Zhu or Costa Zhu? I can't. I can't compare the two. Two completely different eras. You know, completely different times of fighting, and what you're fighting for. So, but Tim Zhu for being the son is is good. He's definitely good. That's like right now with Emilio. Like Emilio Vargas, that kid got me impressed because he's been fighting really well. Um, but same thing with Abdullah Mason. Like Abdullah Mason is fire, man. I think every single fight that I've seen from him, he just looks great. But speaking you know, of Abdullah Mason. Uh, you did you hear? We went live yesterday, I believe, and his oh. and he went on with uh, nah, Kid it's Austin. Awesome. Joe. You seen it? Yeah. yeah. You believe? You believe his pops? I don't know, man. It's just like it, it's kind of it almost falls down to that he say she say shit. Unless you actually got some type of footage. That shows what you're doing. You, you didn't hear Floyd in the background. We got the footage. Yeah, yeah, that's one thing. We got the footage, but what if what's what's the reason for you not showing it? There's no probably, like the shit. Probably not as hot as what you're saying it is. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like you know, if, if I knew if I was sparring and I knew like I touched up somebody like Shakur or Davis or etc. and I knew I had it on film and they were like calling cap. Man, I released that shit. You want, okay? You think I'm lying? All right, let me post that shit right now, just to just to get it out there. But a lot of these dudes just be saying shit, and then there's no footage of nothing, you know. So yeah, I mean, it's good to talk. It's cool, but are you really doing it? You know, are you happy over ten seconds of sparring or something? You know, like a lot of people get touched up in sparring doesn't mean that you're gonna beat them in real life. You know what I'm saying? Like he said, I think he said he said that he beat up he beat up Duel up and his brother. Yeah, I mean, you know, we don't know how it is. You know, maybe Abdullah came in that day, he had a stomach ache. Nah, I don't. You know how it is. Like we go to the gym. You know, I kind of don't want to spar today, and that mentality kind of just dictates your sparring match. But if you're gonna sit down and brag about it, 
Did you see the odd for the tail of the take? Minus 557 for Tim Zhu, plus 400 for Fondora. Yeah, yeah. Fondora's 21 in one with 13 knockouts. Tim Zhu undefeated 24 with 17 KOs. Yeah. Wait, well, how many knockouts Fondora got? 17. Oh, no. So. I think Tim Zhu, Tim Zhu got 17, sorry. Okay, so so, in theory, Fandora has more knockouts. No, mm-hmm. less knockouts. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, I mean, if you had to compare records, like who they fought recently. I mean, the thing about it is, Fandora's been in the top ten for a bit. People in the top ten for like for a long time. And that's so why I gotta, think the kid got to give it to Fondora. Yeah. I mean, I know people mad that he just got knocked out and et cetera. But let's say, for example, if the Spence versus Crawford meet, rematch would have went through and it would have happened again, people would have said the same thing about that fight. Why is Spence fighting Crawford again when he just got freaking demolished by him? But people would have still watched it. You know? So it could have been worse. We could have gotten a... Uh, who else in the in the division that probably would have been like a journeyman or something? You know, we, it's somebody whack. So if anything, we're lucky that we're getting somebody like Fandora. That although he got knocked out, he's still kind of one of the elite guys in the division. Like, not a lot of guys are gonna beat this guy. And you know, Lubin just beat Ramos, but you don't hear Lubin talking about let me rematch Fandora again. <laughs> He just that's like Tio with Camboso. Like Tio just he forgot worked, about Camboso. He worked, he worked, he, he, he did say that he wants to, yeah. Work. But it, it's one thing to say it though, but do you really want it again? Because, because me personally, if I would have lost to somebody like that, I would have been like, yo, we got to run it back, bro. Like, there's no way that people are just going to continue to throw this in my face and me be like, yeah, so let's move up to 147. I'm going to go fight Crawford. But don't forget, I got beat up at 135. Oh, but it's all good. I don't know. That's a, that's a weird weird way to think for me. So I'd rather settle that and then move along so people don't have no doubts. And, and you know, etc. So, ladies and gentlemen, make sure you guys go out your way, smash the like button. Also, go out your way to go make a vote. We got a new poll here. Who wins, Fandora versus Zoo? We got 25 votes. Let's get these votes up. We got over 256 people on the live right now, so let's get these likes up, man. I can't see the chat at all. That shit went away. Really? Yeah. I think you got to, like, press something, like, double click or some shit. I don't know. Dead ass, because I'm over here like, where the fuck are you going? I'm trying to... See what people are saying, so I could kind of piggyback off here. We got Canelo versus Mungia, the greatest fight of all time. Goat versus goat. Nah, just <laughs> hey, it's not a bad fight. Nah, it's not. I personally don't think it's a bad fight. It's just it's not what the fight that people want. But you know, it is what it is, man. I rather it's... see I rather see that fight than Bubu Andres. Yeah, I think that, like I told you, man, this just gives David Benavides an opportunity to make his own. St- Did they just call Ugas Zab Judah? <laughs> yeah. What? Yeah, they pointed the camera at Ugas and they called him Zab Judah. <laughs> and then he looked at the camera. He's like, yo, that's not me. <laughs> yeah. Damn. My oh, guy, plant. Errol Spence. The big, the big fish is back in the building. Caleb Plant's in the building. Yeah, yeah. They did, they did say Zab Judah when they said uh, Uga. Yeah, so that's funny. Yeah, yeah, right. I thought I saw it wrong. I'm like, nah, that should have me laughing. Um, yeah, just because he's bald. Yeah, that's fucked up. Arrow Spence in the building. The big nice. pescado, the big pescado, bro. Nice to see him. Yeah, they're saying that the well, I mean, Spence is trying to get the winner of this fight, but um, he'll probably get it before Crawford because he's in the same stable, so it's easy to make. 
You see what Ella, uh, Leonard Ellaby said? What? He said, who who do you think would get the fight first, Crawford or Spence? Yeah. Of course, Spence. He's the home team. Yeah, yeah, it's true, though. He, he got a point. Damn, yo. Sebastian's reach is 80 compared to Tim's 70-inch reach. That's crazy. Bro. Yo, we basically have a 10-inch gap. Bro, if Sebastian is smart, use that jab, man. All you got to do is use that jab. As a matter of fact, I, w- I would just use it the entire time. Just throw that uh, shit. Tim Zhu, Tim Zhu, 29 years old. Sebastian uh, Fundora, 26 years old. They weighed in the same at 152.8 pounds. Monster, this is monster. It's exciting, though. Then that arena is full, too. It's, it's some were full. It looks full. That's what a big one. What would you have to say about the production? Amazon? Nothing. Nothing at all, to be to keep it real. It's honestly cool. Yes, Yes, Mar- Martinez won a decision. Yo, that was a good one, too. Was it Cordova? That was a yeah. good one. Really good fight. Um, but now, if I had to say anything about the production, is that it's very basic. It's nothing different than what we've seen. The only difference is, is it just says Amazon on it. That, that's pretty much the difference. I wonder how much Sebastian weighs right now, too. Right. He he. There's no way. He got to be like in the 160s, 170s. Because he's tall. You, you, you gain back mad weight. There's no way, bro. But the dude is hella tall, man. Or I'll the... tell you one thing. He's a good kid. I want him to win. But I don't because he's not on my parlay. <laughs> he, he, he definitely in mine, man. He, he in mine. I need, that, him, and, I need him and Gilberto to win, and then my parlay will still work because I got it as round robin. We're gonna find out if this if this kid packs a punch, because I think I think Zoo he's a tough dude. Fandora looks focused, man. Yeah, man. That's what I'm saying. If if he's coming in with the mentality that he has nothing to lose, I hope be... he has a good performance either way, though. He got to. He he, he got to put it all on the line, bro. Like this is life or death type of shit. Put that shit on the line, bro. Don't play with me. Don't 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 pull a rollie right now. <laughs> Torre. Yeah, Fundora don't even need to stand on the top ropes, man. He just put his hand up and he's just taller than everybody just that's a difficult task man to be that tall but Tim got good good uh, body work so I feel like that would make he's a, he's a decent body yeah he's decent yeah and the thing with Fundora is that even though he's really tall he still likes to be up in you you know like up close to you pause Wait, did Tim just call himself the soul taker? Look at the flames. Sebastian Fundora's a flamer. No, nah, hell no. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yo, don't. Hold on. Yo, hold on. I'm going to exit and come back in because I can't see any of the comments. I can't get it to come back up. Hold on. Word. The main event, ladies and gentlemen, is coming to you right here. Tim Zhu versus Sebastian Fondora. Tim is getting, Tim is going to chop that tree down. Hey, there we are. Now I can see it. Let's see what we got cooking up in here. Bro, that giraffe gets starched. (laughs) Yo, Hamza is crazy. Yeah. <laughs> My bad. Honestly, <laughs> I'm like, 
<clears throat> right, Broly isn't a fraud. He's just not an IQ fighter. Doesn't know how to use his feet. Gets tired. He has no defense. Right, you definitely got a point, man. Cool JC26, the giraffe versus the kangaroo. That, that's that's a great way to put it, man. Because he's Australian. Get it? Yeah. No, nah, I know. It's just, you know, <laughs> stereotypical. Um, Jose Olivas has Julio Cesar. Yeah, he fought already, Brody. So it's made already. Tim versus Spence. It might be Fundora versus Spence. Let's not play that. <laughs> Fundora. Tim is going to chop that ass down. I mean, it's a high probability. Place your votes, ladies and gentlemen, on the poll. Place your votes. We got 45 votes. Who who y'all think is going to win? My guy, Fundora, or Thunder from Down Under, Tim Zoo, bro? A.K.A. the Soul Taker. I didn't even know he put a nickname on himself, but I guess he's the Soul Taker now. Is that what his name is? I could have sworn I just saw that. Tim Soul Taker, Soul Taker Zoo. Don't tell me that's his new alias, bro. <laughs> Yeah, well, you know what? It's fire, though, bro. It's fire. You could you could put that on a sticker or something. Ha Haya Fat Lee, I, I I I don't know what you're talking about, bro. <laughs> oh, it's my birthday today. Ah, bet man, happy birthday, Haya. Happy birthday. Got some good fights. Good fights going on on your birthday, bro. Now I'm gonna take that I'm gonna take that birthday luck though and I'm gonna put it on Fundora. He he going to win for your birthday. I got you. Yeah, you definitely got to do that cuz you need a, <laughs> you need to parlay. <laughs> Yeah, Yo, your, your parlay is trash. Yeah, the only fight I lost so far is Brody, man. If I win Fundora and Gilberto, I'm good, bro. I'm 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 still winning. Gladiator boxing Fundora upset six Ooh, rounds. Ooh, there we go. There, there we go, man. Finally, somebody siding with me. Harvey hey. Doc, my man Harvey Doc in the building. Great referee. He got that yeah. cone head though. He got that cone head. At what time is Pipples fight? Austin Pipples fight already happened. He demolished Roly and took that title, bro, which is crazy. Can you say happy birthday one more time? Man, I can't repeat that one more time, bro. It's a that's a force. <laughs> that's a force. It's a that's a force. <laughs> bang, bang, boogie in the building. Bam, bam, boogie in the building. What's going yeah. on, Carlos? In the chat, what's going on? El Brody, El Brokey. Here we go. 26, six foot six, foot six 152.8 muddle pounds, bro. Straight from the towering inferno. That's why he got the fire around his neck, bro. He's on fire. Haya Fatli. Happy birthday. Pobre Roli. Yeah, Roli got demolished, man. He was in my parlay. There, there goes that. Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> Please, one more time. I don't know who I am. I don't know who I am. Hamza, one, give a birthday shout out to Haya, man. One more time. <laughs> one more time. I don't I don't got a balloon with me, bro, but you already know. Feliz cumpleaños, as they say it in Espanol. One more uh, time. See, see, so he is calling himself the soul taker. The soul taker, Tim Zoo. He's gonna wait a second now. This is gonna be a good fight. It, it could be, man. It could be. We got the towering inferno versus the soul taker. It sounds like a Mortal Kombat match, bro. Ah, uh, yeah. Who's picking Fundora for the win? This Dibble. guy right here. Good boy, let's go. We in here. My guy from Fundora. I got, I got my. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just, since I don't got Fundora's thing, I'm gonna just put this on my shoulder right here. <laughs> just What's in case that? Fundora win. This is the what thing I got at Benavides is a uh, fight. Oh, is that sure. Man. Yeah. I, I like you. 
I thought you was a blood or something. Oh, man. Nah, no, we just putting it on for good luck. You know what I'm saying? For, I'm putting on that inferno luck right now, bro. You already know. Salute to Jackie. Thank you for the $50. Jackie, La Reina, thank you. <laughs> uh, uh, Jackie got 10. All right, we, we, we betting against each other then because I want I my guy from Dora to, to take this W. You know how be sh- this would be a shocker if Jackie like I ain't t- taking another L. Jackie like Kick I ain't taking another t- L, man. Damn it, yo. don't waste that positivity. Come on, man. Bang bang boogie in the building. What it do? What it do? Bang bang boogie in the building. Aye aye. Oh, round, man, Fundora with the jab, with the jab. Damn, that jab is so easy to land. It's kind of crazy, bro. Damn, damn. Oh. <laughs> Round one, ladies and gentlemen. Round one, the bell has rang. Fundora with the jab. Southpaw jab. We got the Australian from down under, Tim Zoo. Staying on the outside because he got no choice. <laughs> nice little feints that he has. Um, you see that. Tim Zoo got to be super sharp when he does close the distance. It'll be easy for him to get caught with something. Hey, like to see uh, Fondora with this jab. If he can maintain that jab, he can make this fight interesting. Got to double it up, though. You can't have a lazy jab. I just seen, I just seen, uh, you're going to see the, the, uh, jumping Lead hook for J- Tim Zhu is going to be a big shot for him. And a big right hand to the body. Straight right hand to the body. Will he froze? Oh. Say, Ali, I will donate $55. Ali. <laughs> Ali, Ali, one of my favorite boxers. Oh, he's back, ladies and gentlemen. He is back. William. Yeah, but you see you see the straight right hand landing for, for, for Zoo in the body? Yeah, yeah. I pe- that's the only punch he's landed right now. I'm impressed. I'm impressed with uh uh Sebastian's jab. He he got a little lazy one time. What the good? Hold on, hold on. Ooh. Nah, Tim Zoo, bro. Like, damn. Like, I thought that height was going to be a problem, but he caught him. Did you see the punch? No, not yet. Oh, the right hand over yeah. the top right? Yeah. That, oh, that, caught that his head punch. straight back. You could tell Sebastian felt that, too. He smiled right after. Yeah, yeah. But still, the problem is that jab. Sebastian has to keep that, that left hand higher. Yeah, you see Zoo's forehead turn red. Mm-hmm. His forehead's already, yeah, his forehead's already red, actually, from those flicker jabs that he's throwing. Salute to Fondor, keeping his composure on that big shot. Woo! Oh. Dude, I think Fondor got the first round easy, bro. That jab is a problem. But that that overhand right that Zoo landed, that was the best one she landed in the in the first round. But I got Fundora winning that first round though. That's a close round though. But yeah, yeah. You, you would have to. I would think that you would have to give. But the thing about it is, is that close rounds go. They're they're in favor of Tim. Now what? That's a close round. Cause you know, you know, you know that Tim's the favorite. Yeah, Tim landed the two power punches, but Fundora landed all the jabs. Right now, if I was a judge, I would definitely I would give it to F- uh, Fundora, but round one, yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if that went the other way. You got to stay on his p's and q's, cause Tim's land, trying to land that overhand, right? Yeah, bam, bam, boogie. He 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 snapped his head back. He looked at the ceiling. Yeah, we go. And went back down. Power shots were all time. Yeah, for sure, bro. 
Absolutely. And and for being on short notice, you know, Tim's good. He's thinking on the fly. All right, Tim's using that body work to try to get in, but Sebastian's jab is just there, bro. It's like But the more the, the longer the fight proceeds, the more it's gonna favor Tim Zhu due to the speed. Maybe. I mean, if Sebastian keeps throwing that jab, it's, it's going to be there, you know? If 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 Tim's conditioning is where it needs to be, he's going to be fine. Because yeah. he, as, long, as long as he can hold his power, maintain his power and speed all, all throughout the 12 round, he's going to be good. Tim just tried to land that, that right again, but it caught Fundora on the glove. I mean, y'all, y'all, y'all heard my, y'all heard my prediction. Tim Zhu wins, but he's he loses. He's losing the fight before he lo before he wins that KO. Let's see. Let's see. I got round two so far. I want to say that Fondora is winning round two. I'll, I'll tell you right now. Tim has not con like he's he's what I don't like about Tim right now is he's staying in the mid range. He hasn't yeah. he hasn't really showed consistency of closing the the gap. He's also not moving his head at all, too, so and, it's easy for Sebastian to punch and wait him. A minute. Is there a cut in Tim's eye? Nah, it looks like his forehead or something. It's, like, dark. But Tim just caught Fundora with two straight rights. And and Fundora's jab doesn't seem like it has anything on it, either. Yeah, but look, now Fundora using that uppercut when Tim comes in. That's, that's the punch that I feel like can make a difference. Man, we he loves throwing that uppercut, bro. Yeah, but, he, but he's keeping his hands down though. Remember, Tim. Tim has also um, that uppercut has also given. Um, oh, somebody's bleeding. Fundora problems. I don't know if it's Tim. Oh, it's Fundora. Big, big, it big Fundora? right hand. Big right hand shot from from uh, Tim Zoo. He started to land his right hand consistently. His yeah. timing is good. He's starting to see his his range. I got it too old, Zoo. There's no way, bro. I got it too old for Fundora. Beautiful jab from Fundora. Wow. It's nice this to one, see Fundora with a jab. This one I would say would be more um more zoo. Round three would probably be more zoo because he's landed some really good shots. Oh, let, let, let's get there. Let's get there. I don't know who's bleeding. Who the hell? Oh, Sebastian is bleeding bad. Oh, big shot landed from Zoo. Zoo's landing all the big power shots, man. Yeah, yeah, definitely. From both hands, too. Oh, Tim is bleeding, too. You're right. Oh, he's bleeding on his forehead. What the hell? What a weird place to get a punch. Well, a cut, actually. Like, not his forehead. He's, like, above in his in his hair, actually. Oh, I've seen I've seen cuts everywhere, man. Yeah, but this one's like a weird ass area. It's like almost like right on his his hairline. Oh no, no, actually, no, I could see a little bit better. It's a cut right, yeah, right below his hairline. Oh shoot, man! Yo, you could see his brain. No way. <laughs> I just played. Oh, that's awful, bro. Talk about a cut. Did he? Did Yo, was that from a punch? Did in Avali's last night? Yo, bro, they might stop the she fight. Could bro. not stop. She could not stop bleeding. She's like, she's looking like Zoo right now. They might stop the fight, bro. Yo, did you did you did you hear? Damn. Oh man, that's an awful punch, bro. That or might be worse than Bali. I don't even know. It it's like I. It's hard Hello. to tell how that punch even. It was that, yeah, it was a punch, right? If someone could beat Tim in 154, like now, it must be question mark. Yo, Fundora, the, the pole is close. Ah, there he man, because Fundora is no slouch, bro. He's getting hit, but he can punch back. Whoa, yo, Tim got a. He's Tim's in trouble right now. You can tell Tim's in trouble. Fundora's bleeding too, though. They both bleeding back. We knew this was going to be a war. 
why you think people wanted to see this fight more than wow. But esa corta que tiene Tim on his on his head is bad, bro. That's a bad cut. I remember watching his dad bleed and, and go to war too. Yeah, yeah. It, I think it's Sebastian's um jab or his right hand is just touching up. Yo, Zuzu. Wow, Zu can't. I, I don't Yo, know. they're gonna stop the fight. I think they're gonna stop the fight. Sebastian's gonna win, bro. Oh, he just yo. Don't don't say nothing. Let's go, Fondara. Do it for Mexico. For yo, Mexico. All over the place. Tim Zoo look like the Undertaker right now. Tim Zoo looks like Kane from wrestling right now. Yo, he's looking like um. Oh, oh, oh Fondora, the one coming to the the one two from Fondora hurting Tim Zoo, bro, bad. Fondora hurt Tim Zoo. Oh man, he Tim Zoo's looking bad, bro. Good luck to Spence if you gotta fight Fondora, bro. He is not. Bless you. Damn. Double jab. Yo, I think that oh. parlay is about to hit for me right now, bro. Cause Tim Zoo is looking like he's about wow. to get tired. Tim Zoo might get stopped, ladies and gentlemen. Tim looks like he's hurt, bro. That blood is getting into his eye too bad. It, it, it's definitely frustration, but there's a lot of respect for the punching power, though. Yo, where, where's everybody at in the comment section, man? Yo, where's everybody in the comment section? <laughs> Yo, Fundora. Pero Fundora también está cansado, so I can't, I can't front. He need to keep his defense up. We got plenty of fight left, but damn, he's beating his ass up. I ain't gonna Yo, Tim Zoo looks terrible right now, bro. He looked like he'd been through a war. It's only round three. Hamza, where you at, bro? Yo. I thought you said... I thought you said... Right. Yo. Was gonna win. yo, 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 Willie, he's landing everything. I know. That's what I'm saying. That punch in his head is... It's bad. He that blood Tim, Tim Zhu can't see. He can't see. He can't. He's, they're going to stop the fight. Stop they're going to stop the fight. Yeah. There's no way I can see this fight continuing. It's over, bro. Fundora beat him. You think they're going to stop it as soon as they go to the corner? Yeah, it's a possibility, Tim. Yo, bro. Unless they can get that blood under control. It's, it's over. It, bro. It, it, yeah. it, and Fondora so tall, he's aiming for that cut. Oh, so it was a punch. Was it? Yeah. The Sebastian. Oh, shit. Damn. Zoo ran right into his elbow. That's what gave him that cut, bro. So he went on. He went aggressive. Damn, he so squirted. Zoo, Zoo, Zoo went aggressive and it hit. Um, he hit his head on Fondora's like forearm under his underarm, but it caused that crazy ass yeah, cut. He, he he went out of control. Yo, Zoo's getting fucked up. Rough position to be in right now, as far as dealing with that much blood. And I'm pretty sure Fondora got a broken nose. He got a, yo, he got to pull a panda right now. Oh, my God, bro. Nah, pan, yo, keep panda away from, from handling any cuts, bro. <laughs> Don't, let's not talk about that, man. <laughs> yeah. Fondora measuring up with the jab, double up the jab, killing up with that jab. jab right now, man. That Throwing jab is right awful. behind the jab. Errol Spence probably looking at this right now like, uh, Tim need a win, man. Mm, big right hand. Fundora's long jab is a problem for any guy. Oh, uh, Tim's who's a... Oh, bro, you're going to like what you see right now. Tim Sue's a tough-ass bastard. He is, man. Definitely tough because this is... These first four rounds are all Fundora, in my opinion. Yeah, they are. 100%. This is a bloodbath. That's what no I like to hear. Right? I had, I, I, had one, I had one round with right. I think I gave one round to Tim because he's the A side. I forget what what round it was. They gave Zoo. They gave Zoo the first two rounds. Yeah, I mean, there's a possibility because he landed. They they're trying to count it from those power punches that he landed. But if you look at the punches landed in those rounds, from Dora's jab was dominant. Hey, I seen cra craziest shit in boxing. So. No, no. That was like that fight yesterday. I forgot which one it was where they gave the punch stats 
and and the commentators were like, that shit don't match. Yo, the Fondora's, Fondora's jab is money. I think he must have heard everybody in the podcast, him not using his distance, and he's doing a great job. Yeah, man. This, this is but, the way that he should fight. But he yeah. still doesn't know how to that be a killer, a killer from the outside. He still gets his ass in the inside. Like, he, yeah. he you know? Yeah, cause that that's that's the 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 Mexican blood in you, bro. You want to fight, you know, and that's Fundora has that. This, yo, ladies and gentlemen, this is a bloodbath. Just to let you know, Tim's blood's all over the place. Fundora's blood's all over the place, bro. This is oh, we are Tim's only in play. round four, ladies and gentlemen. I think I think it's over for Tim, bro. Come He's on. getting hit way too much, like. A lot. He Especially by Fundora's straight right hand. Like, Tim, you could tell he's feeling that bad. Bro, he can't see. Oh, man. This is... I honestly... Yo, I bet Fundora, on Fundora, but I thought Tim was Fundora, actually... Fundora's jab is on, on crazy. Like, you could tell I like... Bo- you, you could tell, like, I like boxing so much. Like, this... I need I need Tim to win. And you I'm actually... I'm happy for Fundora. This reminds me of the... Of the Fundora versus Lupin fight, where Fundora just kept going, bro, and and then Lupin turned into like his face turned into somebody else, bro. Because Tim is looking the exact same way right now. His face. Whoa, there's a bro. rematch, you know. This there's, there's a rematch clause for this fight. They got to be, cause Jesus. Tim probably thought this was gonna be an easy fight too, man. Coming off that knockout. Ooh, Jack, he's up. getting pissed. You, you should be getting pissed, man, because your boy is getting messed up. Fundora gonna remember the day he stepped into the ring with him. Wait, what? Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say you should have deleted that comment because you don't know what you said right there. Somebody wrote something and then they deleted it mad fast because I know they sounded mad dumb right there. Um, <laughs> Under this right, fight. Right, over or under, this fight goes the distance. I think it goes the distance, but Tim is going to get battered, bro, right now. Cause unless he could come up with something to take away that jab. Under, yeah. under. Under? Either yeah. way, I still win. He, he, Fundora in my parlay, so. They, they they saying the cut man's trash. Which one? Damn, you, you're right. Fundora's nose probably is broken. Yeah, he keeps bleeding out of it like nothing, so. But he keeps catching Tim with that straight right, bro. That's going to knock him down. I'm curious to see what adjustment uh, Tim makes. He hasn't made an adjustment yet. Nothing, bro. He just can't get around that jab, bro. That jab is long. They, they, uh, uh, but here, copy, Tim, copy box got 2-2. Two, two. Yeah, Peter. I still think Fundora's winning, but. Yeah, I, I do too, but I wouldn't be surprised if copyright copy box is right. When Dora need to keep his distance, Tim's coming in. He's trying to catch him or something. Yeah. Oh, no, but Fundora's ducking his head right when Tim's throwing that overhand right. So, he learning. Come on, boy. Come on, Fundora. Yo. Yo, have you noticed that Fundora has barely threw uppercuts this fight? Yeah, I think he's waiting on it. Honestly. Not, yeah, yeah, yeah. If he gets him, he just he just play. threw he just threw one right now, and he. But, but, but that's why he, he he got caught throwing it by Mendoza. He not trying to go through that mistake again. What do you think? What do you think he said? I learned from the mistake. No, he just got caught again. He needs to be careful, because Tim is still still alive as the. Oh yeah, he's live. Yeah. What round we in? We in round six. five. We almost about to go into six soon. In oh, man, Sorry about that. Yeah, I mean, it's not much more that Cutman can do. Yeah, I mean, somebody call Panda. See if Panda know, know anything about it. <laughs> toes. Yeah. Tim, step on that Joker's toes, man. He got to step on his arms at this point. Cause that bro. thing's a lanky, bro. Oh man, that straight right is just. All I know is Tim just caught him with a clean shot. Very have clean you know, shot. Have you noticed that all Fondora is doing is jabbing that cut? Yeah. But it doesn't even matter because that's that's all he needs. Tim loses like, eyesight and it's it's a wrap. 
by the time that the fight's over, that that cut's gonna look like a torture. Sebastian need to get the hell away from Zoo. Like, keep your distance, bro. Jab. I never thought a fight would be. Like I never this. thought this fight would be like this at all. Well, that's what happens, Jackie. That's what happens. Look now I'm that. just waiting for. I'm waiting for the fight to end so I can check my parlay. Make sure that you know. You know what it is too is Tim Zoo's looking for one shot. He's not. He's not looking for the body. Yo, he can't close the distance. Yo, salute to salute to uh, Sebastian making the the adjustment on on using that jab in this fight, especially after that knockout loss he he just got. Literally, you know how many people were talking smack that he didn't deserve this fight? I bet y'all, but y'all watching the fight right now, like, uh, I guess he he is well deserved. Damn, man. Wow. That cut that Tim has is awful, bro. Look like a Gotti and Ward, Ward fight right now. Yeah. But, I mean, no blood is coming from Tim's face. It's just Fundora's. The cut, but yeah. That cut on Tim's head is awful, bro. Yeah, but it that stinging blood in your eyes is it's not letting you see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what Probably. I'm saying. As soon as Sebastian touches it, that, that thing starts bleeding like crazy. Yeah. Keep your distance, oh, yeah. bro. Oh, oh, yeah, I can see the nose broken from Fundora yeah, for it's sure. It's leaking. Uh, Sebastian need to stay away, man. Stay away, bro. Wow, great jab from Fundora. Still. I'm telling you, man. Like, the kid's he's got the really, bridge, man. Really good condition. Mm -hmm. You know, so... And Fondora's keeping everything tight, too. They and gave Tim the last round, but I, I don't think Tim won the last round. Not that it was <laughs> they gave but. Tim the last round. That's crazy. That's what I'm saying. I don't understand that. The dude's, like, severely bleeding all over his face. I know it's not from a direct cut, but still, bro. Jesus Christ. Ah, uh, Tim just la landed a nice shot, though. Yeah, copy box got Tim Zoo winning. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, one can't see and the other can't breathe. Yeah, you're definitely you ain't lying. Yeah, one can't see, one can't breathe. That's true. The towering inferno, bro, coming through to take the soul of the soul taker. Dun dun dun. Damn, but look at how many punches Fundora's thrown already. Three hundred and ten versus one hundred and seventy from Zoo. Power punches. It's Fundora, right? Yeah. Yeah, he's thrown a lot. That's why I don't understand how Tim's winning certain rounds. Like, but they got, they got, they got Tim landing at a high percentage rate at forty percent. They got, he they got uh, Fundora landing at a twenty-two percent rate. Yeah, they bugging. Those punch stats don't make sense at all. It's hard to get That's that. Shit. When I was watching the fight yesterday, there was a fight like that where they counted the punch that after the fight was over. And they're like those those punch stats don't even make sense. Wow. So yo, so so Tim Zhu has yet to uh disarm that jab. Nah, that jab if that jab goes like this for the next three rounds, Zhu's gonna need a knockout to win, because there's no way you can okay. you can dismiss that jab. And you know, as a south part, we're supposed to throw the right hand, but considering the the dude has an eighty inch reach, the right hand's really not there because the jab's still there. Michael Zhu, cut man sucks. Yes, we absolutely know that. But the cuts on top of his head, so come out. He needs it's to difficult to even cover that up, you know. But Sebastian's jab is insanely a problem. Right now. No, yeah, and his one two is nice too. It's yeah, it's yeah. so sharp. It's sharp. There he looks know. sharp today. Fondora looks sharp today. Tim's gonna knock him out. Nah, so you bugging, Michael. Please stop. Uh, bang, bang, boogie. Zoo looks like those old school wrestlers that got hit with a chair. Let's rephrase that. A steel chair. Absolutely. Absolutely. But I agree. This could be one of Tim's, if not yeah. Tim's toughest fight. I never expected... Uh... Fondora to use his range like this. Yeah, it, but at the same time, it's it, making it's, 
perfect though. It's per- but in the same time, also you have Tim Zhu that's not committing enough. He's not yeah. committing enough, you know. But, but the blood in his eye is also playing a factor too, because we didn't expect him to get that crazy cut. But he has to go for broke Willie. Who? With that type of punch rate, punch rate that that Fondora is bringing out, you have at, at this moment at times that you you're thinking sixty to seventy percent defense. Oh, oh, here come the cut, man, bro! Oh my god! Okay, cool. They land the fight. Keep going. But Tim's head, man, is just awful right now. Damn that that cut is is just it's pouring. Yeah. Like a faucet. Yeah, bro. As soon as, like, 10, 12... I mean, it doesn't help that Sebastian just keeps punching him, dude. But, yeah, it's definitely not no bueno for Tim. Fundora should be doing a lot more given Tim's cut. For sure. But he's... I I don't even know how Tim's winning the fight. That's BS, man. Still copy box, so... Nah, that cop, copy box, they need to throw that in the trash because there's he's definitely landed some good shots but he's not winning the fight there's no way he's getting that jab to the face all night and they gave Tim that one too yeah bro how that makes sense that's Joe Guzman's scorecard yeah Joe Guzman need to go go to go to sleep yeah nah oh nice uppercut by Tim though very nice uppercut. Michael saying they're not plugging that with the Vaseline. Can they not plug it? Yeah, I mean they not. I, it must be a really big cut, you know what I'm saying? But total. I was jabs, like, yes. Two hundred two hundred and twenty six jabs being thrown by Fundora, punching yeah. at a twenty one percent punch rate, yeah, and, and, and Tim Zhu only has fifty five jabs. So how does this make sense? How is he winning? It's just a jab. Tim Zhu's not throwing jabs. He's throwing more right hands than anything else. Yeah, but the whole point is that he's outworking him. So how how are you winning? You know what I'm saying? That makes no damn sense. Like I get it, you know. But big left hand from Fundora. Nice left hand from Fundora. Zhu's it's- the favorite, so nobody wanted Zhu to lose. But you can't just dismiss what Sebastian's doing. Like he's kicking his ass. Damn, Fundora's. Fondora's arms are so long that he covers his whole body by just putting his hands to his face. Yeah, man. But he, he, his defense needs to get better. That, it, that'll happen over time, but he needs Fondora to keep... wouldn't hands. even be close if it was close to a bloody mess. This is a, for his vision. Now, I don't know, man. Fondora's jab is on the money today. Ooh, nice right yeah. And then he nice started right. with that jab, too, so... You know, the elbow just happened to be. And on top of it, too, um, it's not like Fundora hasn't took real good shots to the face and and, and, mm-hmm. and reacted like a champion. He has reacted like a champion. So, mm-hmm. yeah. I, Joe, I, I, there's counting. They're counting those range finder jabs, I think. They should, man, because he's, he's landing them pretty easily. Unfortunately, but. That's why I told you, man. Sebastian's not a slouch, bro. He's Bird fifteen says bearing down, losing blood. Why you think Pitbull not mention Super Yo, but mention everybody else? We already know, man, because everybody else brings money to the table, and they always use the excuse that Matias doesn't. So that's the downfall. But don't worry, Matias is about to fight in PR. He's about to knock out Paro, and that's gonna bring up his stock. So. I give a lot of credit to Zoo, man. He's a true warrior, for real. Now, they both are, man. You got to... These guys are both warriors. Yeah, this is a fight that people were doubting already, saying that... <laughs> there was Zoo a comment... going to watch Fundora. Keith Thurman, I forget what it was. Oh, Jackie goes, I really wanted to see Keith flute playing pluing ass fighting tonight. Nah. See, this, this is... this is, I think if we would have saw Keith fight tonight, this would have been an easier fight for Zoo. They they still possess different tasks, but yeah, I could I, I I mean I don't think you're gonna get this type of fight with Keith. This is entertaining, like yeah. Twitch Max. Mm-hmm. 
You know, all all Fundora needs is to drop Zoo. If he drops Zoo, the fight absolutely goes into his favor. Round eight, ladies and gentlemen. Round eight. No. Yep. Congrats to both gladiators. Absolutely, Hamza. For real, for real. If this thing goes twelve, then they might give this to Fundora. So now, now you're starting to see fight. Tim Zhu kind of going for broke, jumping into the shots. So yeah. you might you might see Fundora land something big. Or the other way around, you might see, you know, Tim Zhu. We we got a mixed comment. Where's our poll at? The poll still have Zhu win in the fight. We got very a lot close, of people. Very close, guys. Come on, fifty six a lot of people in the, the comment section. We got William Morales saying Fedora is gonna knock out Zhu. Vanessa, oi, oi, Vanessa. Uh, who's winning? I personally want to say Fedora's, but. These weird ass scorecards that they be putting on makes no sense. So beautiful jab from still he 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 that jab is still looking as sharp. Not it doesn't look as sharp as the first couple rounds, but it still looks good. I'm very surprised of of Fondora right now. Fondora, I got a a minute and twenty seconds left in the eight. Fondora is still using that jab, bro. I got a minute and forty and. You know, you but you could definitely tell that the temperament of you know trying to throw more punches with Tim Zhu, you could tell that the corner is telling him, "Yo, you're losing the fight. We need to pick it up." Um, now, now this round, I feel like Zhu's landed some good shots for sure. Yeah, yeah, he's more at least he's right now at this him. moment. Oh no, there goes Fundora again. Yeah. Oh, now Fundora trying to. Okay. Fondora, Fondora landed oh, right down the middle. Jesus. Fondora need that uppercut, bro. He need that uppie. Now, now Zoo's finding the body shots. There you go. Yeah, Zoo, Zoo needs to... If he comes in like that, Fondora needs to use the uppie. But do you know what it is? Zoo needed to do this body work attack from, from the beginning of the rounds. Remember when, that, when you said that his body attack is good? I never thought it was good. Yeah. Oh, he's not doing it in this fight either, though. He's, he hasn't really... He's been trying to catch Fundora upstairs. And now it's big, not really... Big, it hasn't been playing. Big right hand from Zoo. Huge right like, hand from Zoo. Yeah, but right now I'm in five seconds Fundora, to the end. Fundora has a great chin. Even Fundora though he went, he went through... his way to a victory. Right Dramatic KO by Tim. Hamza, stop playing. Stop playing. It's an excellent fight. Excellent fight. Extremely Yo, happy that, with this. That's a close round, too. Round eight was a close one. Yeah. Because I, I like how Zim started. I like I like how Sebastian ended. Yeah, he ended it with that jab. Smash that like button, ladies and gentlemen. Smash that like button. We got over 228 people. On Zoo the had it first half. Fundora can take it all the way right now if he goes off. Yeah. I mean, I know Zoo had a first, maybe in the first half, had one, maybe two good rounds. But I feel like Fundora is beating him. With that jab. It's, he hasn't done anything to get around that jab. If, if anything right now, out of the eight rounds... I'll probably have to give, like, six of them to Fundora. But knowing how close these other ones are, I could see how it could be like, like a like a full four type of situation right now. The 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 bets just came up, and it looks like now they have Zoo in the opposite. Also, oh, now he's not the favorite. It doesn't. I thought I saw. No, no. Actually, Zoo is still the favorite, but it's lower now. It's not four hundred anymore. It's like one hundred and sixty for Fundora. Yeah, yeah. No, Zoo, Zoo still, still, Zoo still looks sharp. His oh button. my god, bro! Yo, Zoo's head is leaking like like a fire hydrant, bro. I know, like a faucet. Yeah, awful, bro. Great jabbing by Fundora again, man. Right hands, jab, right hands. Now the the I don't know if you noticed, but the again. the the fight is starting to start coming more into 
Pandora. Less of a, a mid range fight and more of a close range fight. And this mm-hmm. can get dangerous for both fighters, especially Fondora. Yeah, but I think it also favors Fondora. This is but how we stupid. Yeah, because Fondora's going for the kill. He's trying to go for the kill. This is literally how he knocked out Lupin, man. He just kept coming. Oh, and you could tell Zoo's frustrated because he can't hit him with. No, but but Zoo's actually being a little pretty patient in there too, you know. For a ninth round, I would have been desperate right now because I feel like I'd be losing. I like, even if Zoo, you oh, know, he just touched up Fundora with a good jab, but that that's it. Here comes Fundora again with the jab, straight right, jab straight right. Ooh. Even and if Zoo, you know, hook. flips and rolls 50% of these punches. It's a lot of punch rate coming from... Deep from water. Fundora. Michael Zhu. Fundora doesn't win a decision. You never know. Cool JC. Come on, Fundora. That's what I'm talking about, bro. This Smash push. that left right, ladies and gentlemen. This is hot. This is getting... This is getting... Ooh. Your Fundora's nose look like it's doing that, a pass. That, that shit is definitely pass broken. Yeah, that shit's doing different. He he gonna need the nose. He, he gonna need the nose guard that you get in basketball. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. His nose is throwing up gang signs. Thanks, bro. Again, I I mean I think Zoo got him. Zoo's yo, Pandora jab is like still lit right now. Yeah, man. And then Zoo's head, oh. Zoo's head is sliced open, bro. Like come now it's you can see the cut now it's sliced open. Like you could see you could definitely see some brain tissue right there. Man. Yo, they trash my they trash my parlay. Big facts. <laughs> Yo, my parlay about to hit heavy right now, man. Didn't you should just get? Didn't you should trash? Oh, you should still pop. Who? Yeah, yeah, because I got round robin. So even if I lose one, if I win the other two, I still get money. So I'm, I'm good. Good morning from Dubai. Happy Easter and Ramadan. Hey. Salute, salute. Salute, salute, salute man. Dubai. Alhamdulillah. Fundar doesn't win a decision. Let's see. All right, yo, we got round 10. I'm in round 10, the beginning of round 10. Got Fundora doing the exact same ish. That jab is just a menace. Imagine the pain he finna feel tomorrow. Yeah, now, f- now they got Fundora up. Ladies and gentlemen, do you think Tim Zoo has a headache tomorrow morning? Yes or no? Hell yeah. A headache? Sure. Oh, that's a mejor. Big up from Wales, the UK. Salute to the UK. The UK. They got they get they gave the last three to uh to Fundora. Fundora's pouring on the rounds now. Yeah, yeah, he's winning the fight now. Come on, Fundora. Let's bring it back to Mexico, bro. You know, Zoo Zoo look like he, he he went through the the movie Braveheart. You got to fight for your right. For your freedom. He definitely he got to fight for his title right now because you're about to lose there. And they they say they're saying that Zoo's landing at a forty seven percent rate. I don't I don't know I don't know, I don't know what kind of crack they smoking. They need to start lay off that pipe, man. And commentators are biased as hell. Because ain't ain't no way Zoo landing that much. Yo. Like Fundora's the, killing him right Fundora's now. Fundora's jab. Everybody was talking shit about Fundora's jab. I don't want to hear it now. I, I I'm seeing double jabs, double right hands, double jabs, double he's right hands. Yo, I, I think he's loving the jab. Like I think this is the first time I've seen him love it like this. He need a he need to stay away from Tim though. Tim's still trying to land that shot. Wow. I give props to Tim though, because he's been taking all these hits and he has not wobbled. He has not nothing. Both of them. Nah, Fundora got wobbled. Well, I guess he didn't get wobbled in the beginning, but yeah, that was like the strong, the strongest land of the fight. 
was not nah, punching him. Um, imagine being Fandora right now with that nose, getting touched by a jab. Ooh, I, nice. I'll tell you, Zoo has this I nice got, power shot. I got, I got, I got Fondora winning the fight right now. Yeah. I got, it. I, I got him same. up. Same round ten's going on right now. I'm in twenty seconds to the end. I still got Fondora winning with the same exact thing style: jab, right hand, jab, right hand. Zoo can't get past that. I mean, it could be the height too, man. The height is that ain't no easy height to deal with. He didn't have um. What you call it? He didn't have time to even like acclimate to that type of stuff. Beautiful jab from 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 Dora. Yo, Zoo looking like he he fighting Triple H instead of Fundora. You know, he fighting Triple H in a barbed wire but, match. But, but but right now, what was going on with Tim Zoo is that he's he's boxing too much, and I think he needs to go get him. You know, I don't think he has to understand that he's losing the fight right now. Who is who? Yeah. Yeah. You got to go get him. You know what I mean? Like, he's, he's, he's trying to be there with him. See, but I don't I don't like how they just highlight. I hate how, how the TV can be sometimes because they, they just highlighted Zoo, landed one good shot, and they skipped over the fact that Sebastian jabbed his head off the entire round. The blood scot, like... I think Zoom might have like a either like a blood clot, not a blood clot, but you can tell that it's getting brown on top of his head. That's not good. You gotta be careful. But Zoo Zoo is getting more aggressive. He probably knows he's losing the fight. Yep. Yeah. Sebastian's Sebastian knows his eyes are starting to. Uh... Get black and blue. You got one round to go, my guy. Do not mess this up. Come on. Round eleven, ladies and gentlemen. Round eleven. We got ourselves. Come on, my guy. Fundora is doing amazing right now. He cannot afford to to mess up once. Not even a pinch. Just keep jabbing. It, it looks like they the copy box got this fight even right now. Yeah, I don't know. That's that copy box. They must be smoking blunts while counting it because there's, there's no way. Fandora, Fandora's fighting the right hand in this fight, too. Yo, he's, crazy. He's throwing the right hand without the jab and everything. He's landing. He's just touching. Don't get me wrong. You can tell Tim's landing some great shots, but it's just, it's not even like hurting Fandora. But it's not enough. It's he not hasn't, enough. it just hasn't been able to do nothing, nothing good. They, they shouldn't, they shouldn't take this from Fandora. He deserves this so far. Nah, look, the total punches landed. Fondora got more punches and more, way more punches thrown. But they're saying that he's only connected 27%. I'm like, yo, how does that make sense, bro? No horror, no horror. They be they they trying to make sure that Tim wins, bro. Fondora's throwing straight punches. He's smart. He just, I'm going to just throw straight the fastest in, the fastest out. You, you, you might have to rewatch this one, Hamza, but uh, definitely... I feel like Tim is getting. Watch when you watch when you see the interviews, Hamza. You're gonna see that Bro, when, it's, it's, when it's you see the interviews, like, you're gonna want to see the fight more because you see these guys' faces are gonna be all rocked. Facts. Ooh, oh, like from, my guy from Georgia with the right hand, bro. With the right hand. Yo, Fundora's jab looks elite today. Fundora came back from a crazy knockout loss to come and take this title from Tim. That's elite fighting right there. Oh, damn. That's what you call elite. They're going to rob Fundora. They better not rob Fundora. Nah, they do that. That's just wrong, bro. That, that would be over money because they know Spence brings money and Tim fights them in Australia. You know, blah, blah, blah. But... Nah, I think I think um Fundora just earned the respect of even more people, cause he's whooping Tim's ass. Bad. I got this round in the bag for Fundora. Round twelve, we in the last round. I don't want to hear nothing if Fundora wins. I don't wow. Wow. 
very frustrated. Uh, Tim Zoo's very frustrated. Yeah, he couldn't catch him. G- Gabriella Fundora's. Uh, oh yeah, she's she also fights too. I forgot. She's a champion now. Yeah, yeah, she cute too. She cute. Hit the like button, ladies and gentlemen. Hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. It's your boy Mills from Mill City Boxing, home of the high level pro boxing. These they're they're like twins. What you talking about? Who? The Fundora. Oh. They're like twins. Nah, I mean, I don't know how they look like twins. You know, she kind of look like him, but not, not that much. So she's cute. He's cute to you, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He passed out the blood loss. Absolutely. Papa, didn't he? Didn't we We talk about Fondora's jab today? Absolutely, bro. This shit was money, 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 money. Peter Horton sounds like it's been a real dust up. Nah, it's been a bloodbath. That's what. Oh, this is this is this is a fight. This if is you're fight. if you're a fan of WWF and steel chairs, this is this is that type of fight right now. Crazy, crazy, crazy bloodbath. I want to see. I want to see the uh, the energy. How they're gonna treat this? Oh, uh, Tim, Tim, Tim. Yeah, Tim is coming on right now. But Fundora is also giving it to him, bro. You ain't taking this title from me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like he's not backing down. He's he Let's knows. Go Fundora. Let's go, Puñeta. Kitty, my play about to hit. Your parlay about to go away. So yeah, my, sh- my shit's gone, events. Oh man, I think I think um, Zoo might. Oh no, I thought he hurt Sebastian, but no, he didn't. One minute and forty seconds. I'm surprised. I got I got two minutes left. Ooh, big right hand from from Tim Zoo. Huge right hand. But that yo, was the Pandora taking. Oh again, no! <laughs> don't Sebastian. Don't exchange, man. Don't, don't 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 keep your distance. Do what you've been doing, right bro. Hand from the body from Tim Zoo. Tim, uh, Tim still got a lot of power left to knock you out. You need to chill. Damn, but Zoo, Zoo looked like, yeah, he got hit by like three still chairs. Right hand, he's looking for one shot. That's what it is. Yeah, nah, he, oh, nah, he just got caught again by Fundora. And, and I remember but, interviewing, I, it, oh. I, I remember interviewing um, Michael Fox, and he said, he's like, yo, Tim don't got that one shot knockout power. And it's, you can see it. Nah. Fundora does, though, for sure. No, Fundora doesn't have that either, but. The Ooh. either. Oh, whoa. Oh, she was getting heavy right now. 40 seconds to go. Ooh. They need the they need ambulance fireworks. to ring after the fight. Absolutely. They need an ambulance. Definitely an ambulance. Uh, some Popeye's chicken. And shit, maybe, maybe even a blunt after that. Because I, I got I keep... 40 seconds left. I got 20 seconds left. I got Fundora still smashing. Uh, Tim right now. I got Fundora winning the twelfth round as well. They could give a draw. Nah, I, I, I got I got Fundora winning the last demolishing in a row. There we go. Come on, Sebastian. Land. Yep. Yeah, there we go. Twenty seconds left. Damn! What of a hell of a fight, man. Now that's a, that. Now that's a fight that I like to see. Big big respect to Tim. I'm glad they didn't stop the fight over that either. Big yes. respect to him. I got Fundora. Fundora winning. Yeah. If it's even lopsided, like a 98 to 92, Tim Zhu, you already know that it's, it's going to be a robbery. No, I don't know if you, I don't think you can rob him. This, this, this was, I don't know. I don't think you can rob him. If if they rob him right now, Amazon's gonna take an L on this because they're gonna people are just gonna start rationing on him. It's not gonna be Amazon. I mean, this is a PBC event. Yeah, but regardless, it's still connected to Amazon. You know what I mean? So people are gonna start using that narrative. Oh, they want to keep the money. That's why you know it doesn't make sense to put up Spence versus Fandora when Spence carries money and so does Tim. But look at this man. The the punch that's. They're trying to say that that Tim landed more power shots than than uh 
Nah, there's no, there's no way. Bro. He definitely landed some good power shots, but 136, bro? No. So Hell no. The fight is giving us a great fight tonight. For real, for real. And the new, right. That's what I want to hear, bro. That's what I want to hear. And the new, he deserves it. He deserves it. And if he does it, my parlay hits. Nah, no horror, man. I need this. I need this, bro. I, I hit this one because I know Gilberto's going to win his match easy, bro. This one was the one that I kind of, I need to, I need to hit. So, come on, man. Here we go. Can't wait. Split decision. Hold on. Chill, 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 chill. No way. Hold on. They gave it to Fondora. What do you mean they gave it to Fondora? He he deserved it. Damn, they gave it to two, one one judge. Yes! 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 Let's go! Puñeta, let me just do my dance. When, when, when my turn in front of me? Let me get my lighter or something, bro. Where my shit at? Yeah! Yeah! Viva Mexico! Let me go order some tacos right now, bro. Dance, Taking the soul from the soul taker. Damn. My guy. If that is not one of the illest comebacks of recent, you got it. You got it. So that's, listen. That's my. Sh so I, listen. I just want to stay quiet. Let, let me soak in this moment. Now does Fandora does Fandora go fight does he go fight Crawford or does he go fight Spence? It don't even matter. If it's Spence, Spence is in trouble because his style is or, worse. Than or does he fight Charlo? Or does he fight Charlo? I think he should rather fight Charlo. Charlo would probably be more He's more solid at that weight, but in Crawford, I know, don't say Crawford, man, because I, I think Crawford will have a very hard time getting past that jab. It, it's just in general, it's the the height. I don't, I don't huge. think that. I think that's hard work for for te, for for Spence too. They're, yeah, for all of them. Damn. Damn, yo. That cut that he got on top of his head looks awful, though. But big, big props to Tim Zhu because, you know, he didn't let the fight end. He kept going. He still landed his good shots. But Sebastian was just on that bike. On that bike. He had some scratches sauce before he fucking got in there. Yo, he, got, he lit the fire in his ass. And he was just like, yo, you know what? Let me come take this shit from him. And he took that shit. Damn, that towering inferno, bro. Yo. I give him props because he could he he could have turned down that fight, you know. Yeah, that's that's what I'm saying. Like he was in shape, you know what I'm saying. He was he was, and then given that nobody knew Bohochuk, that's why he fought Mendoza because Fondora has a better name, you know. Wow, bro, what a hell of a comeback! Super entertaining fight. Super huh? great fight. I, I I enjoyed it so excellent, bro. Excellent. Now let me let me just check my parlay, see how that looked right now. Hold up. I'm still winning. I gotta watch Gilberto's fight now, bro. <laughs> I think he deserves a rematch too. Yeah, yeah, no, nah, I think a rematch would be dope. Because it was a fun fight to watch. And then, you know, you can use the 
the cut on top of the head is an excuse to why Tim didn't perform the way he did. Right. You still got to find a way to get past that jab because that jab was in your face all damn night. Shit, that jab was in his face so much that I felt it from over here. I was like, oh, shit. I got it. Ah, ah, ah. My guy Fundora, bro. My guy. You ever, thought, you ever thought you ever thought Fundora and Spence? I, I don't want to see it. I, I, I feel like Fundora might knock out Spence bad, bro. This no. I don't want to see it. I'd rather see Crawford versus Fundora. And I still think Fundora might knock out Crawford. It's just the height, the height, the jab. That's not easy to get past, bro. That jab is long. Oh, look at the big fish. The big fish coming into the ring trying to take that, son. No way. Pescado coming through. El Pescado, he's going fishing. He said, yeah, I'll take on this tall, lanky motherfucker. El Bacalao. Uh-oh, nah, don't do it. Arrow, you already looking up. I want to hear what he says. Arrow crazy. Arrow insanely crazy, bro. Said Fundora said, I think it'll be a good fight, but I know I'll knock your ass out too. So it's cool. The big pescado coming back, bro. I, I, nah, bro. Nah. That chain too. He got that chain on. You know that that money that he, he got for the Crawford fight was good. <laughs> Yo. Kiss explosion. I got Fundora, man. I'm going to go make a sandwich just because. You got Fundora over Spence? Yeah, I do. Fundora's the younger dude. And let's be honest, Spence has never fought anybody that tall. <laughs> Ever. So What y'all think in the, in the chat? Spence versus Fundora. Again, I'm going to call it right now. Fundora's jab demolishes Spence. That was a good freaking fight, bro. Excellent fight. Now that 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 rematch clause, it depends. It's gonna take a while because Tim got that that uh, that head, well that cut on his head now. So that ain't gonna take no two weeks to heal up. Mm, people say that like, kind of leaning towards Spence. Yeah, y'all kind of on. <laughs> wow, what a card. I can't, I, can't, light button. I can't, um, you know, if, if Spence was active, if he would have fought again after he, he got beat by Crawford, I would have been like more like, all right. But, bro, you've been out since July, man. And we coming up on July pretty soon again. So it's been a year since you've been out. And now you're trying to fight Fundora? Nah. Nah, nah, nah. Go fight Pedro Ocampo, bro. Get, get that rematch. <laughs> Get that, get that get back in. I mean, I'd rather see Crawford because Crawford, des he deserves it more than Spence, obviously. But it is, it's, it's, it's hard to get to Fundora's body. Yeah, that's, that's, that's not as easy as, as what it looks like. The big fish, Kyle. Everybody's saying got the big fish, man. I see that. Good luck to that yeah. fish, man, because Fund Fundora got that that tidal wave of a jab. So rematch, get Errol Spence and Crawford out the way. Rub your head if you're gay. Yeah. Sometimes people become the weirdest <laughs> shit, bro. Okay, bro. <laughs> Dude. It's so fun Fights like that, Spence doesn't stand a chance. Spence should fight Roley or Pitbull Cruz and let these two fight fighters get a rematch. 
Spence is a very good body puncher. He is. He, he's a great body puncher with somebody his size. Yeah. Right. Not from Dora, bro. <laughs> Not from Dora. <laughs> Great body puncher when you don't have to deal with an eighty inch, eighty inch arm reach like that's crazy. Like insanely far, you know. You you got to use like the Mike Tyson style to get in on that body, and if you can't do it, you're shit out of luck, man. Pit bully Tim is still top dog. We all know he, he could be. Him. Just had a bloody, bloody blood in his eyes, and blood in his eyes, and a bunch of jabs too, man. So. And a bunch of jabs in his face, too, yeah. Give it to Spence. Then when Spence wins, we build up Crawford Spence, too, at 154. What if Fundora knocks out Spence? What happens then? Exactly. With someone with his size, there's no way he gets close to Fundora. Then mm. the big fish beats Bud? Nah. Mm. I, th- I think El Pescado gets cooked again by Crawford at 154. And and I honestly think that Spence ain't looking for the rematch with Crawford. He's he's gonna skip over that just like Tio skipped over Cambosos. Like he ain't gonna want to do it, and it's fine. We get it, you know. But Crawford should get it over Spence because of how he won, and the fact that he can activate that clause. So I, I would have done it for that reason. Will he win? I don't think so. Nope, not at all. No, no, no. Papa, this, this was good, though. This was nice to see. Well, you already know, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be back with another one tomorrow at 12 yes, East Coast time. We're going we to chop that up severely. <laughs> so we're going to chop it up tomorrow, man. We talk some more, all right? Yes, sir. No you city boxing. Know. Tap that like button. You already know. Smash the like button, guys. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed. Become a member if you haven't became a member yet. Salute to all the members that have became members. You're all the ones that really get us up going up here to do this thing. Salute Back. to Jackie for, you know, fun. You know, just, you know, put it, put it, putting this all together. You know what I mean? Donating. We appreciate you. Um, nevertheless, the God chat bless. Was live. The chat was live. Thank you for all the, the active comments, because for real, that makes it more entertaining. You know what I mean? But we be back. We be back. There's some more fights coming. Poor Roley. Sadly, we got to wait the flight white flag to Roley. You're probably eating a Cuban sandwich right now. So. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> you already hey. know, man. To the next Absolutely. one. Check you out. Check you